like the porn you sent me. Have you ever heard of the Beatles? <laughs> I think so. Okay, well, it sounds exactly like the Beatles used to sound. Why don't you sing for me? Okay, are you ready? Uh huh. Ayla. Ayla. <laughs> you sound so sweet. Ayla. Ayla. No. You sound so sweet. You okay? Yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> I still have got that chest cold hanging on to me a little bit. I'm sorry. That's okay. I still love you. <laughs> oh, good. You better. Sing for me. Let me finish my sandwich. Give me two one. What kind of sandwich is it? Bologna. <laughs> Did you hear me two one? Yeah. Yee hee. Ayla. Ayla. You sound so sweet. Ayla. Ayla. You sound so sweet. Thank you. Now you ain't just to touch my penis. I'm, I'm my precious little princess. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh, aren't you so sweet? I like it when you call me that. Huh? Huh? I like it when you call me that. Huh? Huh? I like it when you call me that. Huh? Huh? <sighs> Why don't you sing for me? Okay, well, it sounds exactly like the Beatles used to sound. Okay. Okay, la. Hey, la. <laughs> you sound so sweet. Wow. Hey, la. Hey, la. <laughs> you are so precious. Thank you. <laughs> what are you thinking? I'm thinking I wish I was there with you right now. <laughs> If I was, you'd be naked. What? 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 You must really like me to want to want to talk to me that long. <laughs> I gotta go. Okay, why are you rushing? Why does it sound like you're putting makeup on? <laughs> Why are you putting makeup on at this time of night? <laughs> Twelve thirty at night? Why? <laughs> you better not be putting makeup on for that son of a bitch. Little bit. Why the fuck do you want to look good for this motherfucker? To cheat on your boyfriend? Uh huh. You plan on fucking making out with a fucking doctor? Uh huh. You are putting fucking makeup on. For the fucking doctor. Uh-huh. Why would she do this, Sarge? <laughs> Is that my fucking Leo? Is you fucking Leo? Are you fucking kidding on me? Little bit. That, that fucking son. Hello, everybody. How how are we doing on this fine Wednesday evening? Uh, pff, I'm doing pretty good. Let's say hi to everybody real quick, and then I got a little, you know, a little a little something, a little something special for you. Oh, also, just right off the bat, uh, right here on the right side of your screen, I was <laughs> earlier today. I spent like ten minutes um, getting his face straight in uh, in these like fading pictures, pitchish his uh, RSO pictures here, and I used his ears as like, you know, as, as a, like a ruler of to, you know, to align his face. And you'll see his face like gets more twisted over time. His ears are literally, literally sinking on his face. Uh, but let's say hi to everybody here. Sprinkle Cake, good to see you, Sprinkle Cake. Bunny, please leave me alone. Jugga Willy, good to see you. Lila Daisy, Eureka's mom, good to see you. Uh, Bunny, fuck you. You don't hate dinosaurs. You love dinosaurs. I've decided for you. Logan Dubs. Logan Dubs. Good to see ya. Clementine. Cornhole three-way. Yeah, I'm a little dungy, too. I just made it up. Um, Octopushy. Good to see ya. Voice to voice. Chupa Grandson. Tickle Pea Shivers. One of those weirdos. Good to see ya. One of those weirdos. Uh, Jinx. Jinx. Good to see ya. Outdoor Loser. And, alright. Uh, oh. Oh, there's more. Fuck. God damn it. <laughs> Why does it always do that? Uh, Cookie Whippy Pie, good to see ya. 
yeah, that's Mike Still Classic. Isn't that isn't that great? Isn't that a great little video or a little uh, gif? And Dolty Kong, and Polynomial Purbred, and Asbury Brad. Okay, I think that that's everyone. I think we're up to date. Okay, so uh, his new Lauren's new RSO picture got me thinking, and I was like, hey. Uh, Wes, that's, 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 that's my next stream where I read the Wikipedia article to be, how, on how to be an alpha male. Uh, Kim S, good to see you. Raymond Phillips, good to see you. Okay, so, uh, we, we have a bunch of stuff, uh, videos of Lorne, uh, including the sting, and I've never done this thing before, so, I, we're gonna watch a bunch of videos where Lorne is, um, on camera and slowly watch him melt, uh, in, uh, in video form, so... That's what we're doing here. Seemed like a fun idea. I'm already having fun. Let's get into it. This is the Sting footage. Here we go. And uh, the the playlist that I have this on is linked in the description. But I think all these calls you guys will, or not calls, but videos you guys uh, have seen before. So nothing shocking here. He's coming back, Casey. He's trying to make sure, sure he can see you. In a few minutes, our next potential predator White will top. probably be thinking he too should have stayed away. Okay, his name is Lauren, L-O-R. Hey. You're Kayla. He should have condoms, pizza. Will I be beeping into the microphone? I will definitely be burping into the microphone. I got I got a nice little beverage here. so I, It's carbonated, so I'll definitely be burping into the microphone. Bracelet and a can. Hey, girl. Hey, hey girl. <laughs> How are you? Who is the guy in the Texas thing who does the hey... Whoops, sorry. Who does the hey, girl uh, before... <laughs> before um, Lauren did it? Uh, is it... Wolford? Randall Wolford? Hey, girl. <laughs> I think it's him. He does the hey, girl <laughs> before Lauren. How are you? Good. How are you? It turns out How today does? is his birthday. <laughs> Uh, year old Lauren Armstrong. Terrible. Construction really? Group. How come? been chatting with a girl oh. posing as a 13-year-old for more than a month. It's one of the longest chat logs we've ever seen. 407 pages. <laughs> Using the screen name Lauren A. Okay, so maybe somebody knows. Was this his profile picture? Because I this doesn't look like something he would send to Kayla or like uh, his webcam quality wasn't this high. So was this his actual picture on the Yahoo chat rooms? <laughs> Cause I, you know, I'm not Lauren's biggest fan, but I gotta say, uh, I don't know if I'd go with this picture. You know what? In Lauren's defense, it looks a lot better than all of his RSO pictures. So you know, maybe not too bad. Two zero zero one four. He tells her how to masturbate, and this then asks her if she wants to see him naked. She agrees, and he turns on his webcam. He wants her to. I mean, this is a modern day Mona Lisa right here, right? You got the shit in the background. <laughs> and then Lauren just saying just standing there with this flabby body. You know, this muffin top. Uh, rough picture, Lauren. Rough uh, I guess rough uh, rough area. And that overhead light, oh my god, that would kill me. That's the worst part about this whole picture. <laughs> He's got the overhead light on. Go get a go get a lamp. Stop with the violent uh, the violent lights. To look at his penis. His Would you penis. like to see it up close so you can get a better look at it? Huh? Oh my gosh. I guess if you want to show me. Mm -hmm. After chatting with the decoy, posing as a 13 year old for just six days, he expresses his deep love for her. I wish I could marry you right now because I would do it. <laughs> that's how special you are to me, and that's how much I love you. <laughs> but he clearly knows what he's doing is wrong, telling her to delete all evidence of their chat log. Okay, delete your... You know, I'll say this for the voiceover guy. He He's a little too good at this. You know, like, he, he makes Lauren seem more smooth than he actually is. We haven't, even, we haven't even gotten to, like, Lauren entering the house yet. I love this guy's voiceover shit, but with Lauren, there needs to be more stutters. You know, you need to, you need to bring someone special in, like they did for Corey Edgar and for uh, Poppy, Joshua Cologne. You know, you make me, you make me more happier. They, they need to bring a special guy in for Lorne. Okay, delete your archives. You know, they, they need to add the squeaks. Maybe post-production, maybe ADR. I guess that's what they're doing here with this guy's voiceover. But they need a special person. Archives, and remember, Mrs. Kayla Marie Armstrong, mm -hmm. I love you more than anything. 
Oh. He was so excited to be here. And he came walking in very proud, very excited. Look, we got these new chairs. You have to sit down. I love this. I have to sit down? Yeah. I have to sit down? <laughs> I don't know why. I, I'm going to... It's kind of like stopping and starting for me a little bit. I'm going to change the quality here. I have to sit down? I uh, love that. Look, we got these new chairs. You have to sit down. <laughs> I have to sit down. Yeah. I have to sit down. <laughs> oh my god. One more time. I don't know why. Excited. Look, we got these new chairs. You have to sit down. I have to sit down. Yeah. Look. I have to it's sit down. Oh, it, it gives uh, Corey Edgar vibes. You know what I mean? Attacking a nine. Oh, like look. Oh my god. Oh my yeah, god. Which one is it? Um, you can use either one of them. It tells you. There's one for your butt, there's one for your lower back, and there's one for your upper back. I just felt my butt. Well, yeah, that's what she just said, fucking dumbass. Thing. That must be the one for your butt. Oh, you can pretty God. much tell a difference when you press Holy. the button. Yep. Holy. Holy. Ah, oh, there it is. Classic line. Thing. You can pretty much tell a difference when you press Holy. the button. Yep. Holy. <laughs> that, I have integrated that into my everyday use. You know? <laughs> That's, uh, that, holy, I do that all the time. So good, right? <laughs> so I thought you had blonde hair. By the way, this is Lauren's first date ever. No, oh, eh. Not, not, not the smoothest, uh, first step, but, uh, you know, he's nervous. I like get I dyed it by I think, myself. I think it's pretty. Thank you. It's very pretty. Hey, Floppy and Fun Bogan and Duchess. And Allison Marie Armstrong. Where's oh the my pizza? God. And Dan Jones. I was waiting to eat because I thought you were bringing some. <laughs> well, I wouldn't bring you any pizza. I would be well, eating pizza. Bring me something. I wish. Oh, I wish that we had a close up, like a high definition close up of his face here in video. You know, just like I'm watching it. You're bringing some. Right. I. I mean, there is. There's like you know stills and stuff, but just, it, I wish I had it here. Well, I wouldn't bring you any pizza. Any well, pizza? Weren't you gonna bring me something? Well, yes, I was, and I did. Mm -hmm. Did you bring any condoms? Oh, <laughs> look at his face right here. <laughs> he was, he was taken a little, um, you know, a little, a little off guard, I think, by that question. Um, you say what? Yeah, you know, oh, he's still processing it here in this picture. He's just happy to be anywhere. He's just happy to be anywhere with actual furniture. And now, you know, oh, she asked about the condoms. That's great. All right, here we go. Yes, I did. Where are they? Yes, I did. At and check. condoms? Yes, I did. You know, I don't watch this very often. <laughs> like, I've, I've watched it, obviously, a handful of times. But, like, the amount of one-liners he drops in this. Like, I, I guess it's because I know Lauren and stuff. And, you know, I've seen it a bunch of times. But, like, I bet I could recite this with, like, 80% accuracy. Just from memory. If I hadn't even watched it in like three months. Where are they? Out in the truck. At the chat. Well, what good are they going to do in the truck if we're in here? Well. Well. <laughs> Watch his face. Well, what good are they going to do in the truck if we're in here? Well. Oh, boy. Yell at me, why don't you? Got him. Oh, cute little Lauren. Cheek that was cheeky. You know, this little smile right here, like... You know, ah, I'm teasing you. I got you good. He's so, ah, he's so squeaky. <laughs> I haven't had a kiss yet. Oh, okay. okay. Well, then what did you want to do? Right. Well, I want to kiss first. Well, that's not going to happen. What? Can I have a kiss first? Oh, jeez. Yeah. You, you know, you want to lose, like, all leverage, all, like, you know, mystique, all whatever. D Asking three times for a kiss. And I won't even talk about how in, like, the most recent stuff he tries to play this off as, like, a kiss on the cheek. It's clearly not. He wants her to come over and kiss him, off, you know, flush on the mouth. Well, I want to kiss first. Ugh. And then what? And you know he smoked, like, chain smoked on the way down. Can I have a kiss first? Well, let's talk first. We just <laughs> <Okay>. got here. <laughs> Would you like and, oh, my God. This is, like, before cell phones, right? Um... So he doesn't have anything to look at and play with. Like John Dupe comes in, you know, he's staring at his cell phone to just it because you know that's like a natural thing. You're kind of awkward. You're just like flipping through your cell phone. He must be so happy that it's got like a controller on that seat because 
he's he's avoiding eye contact like the plague. After he gets shut down here, he immediately looks down at the well, thing. Well, let's talk first. <laughs> yep, look down. Not right. here. <laughs> Would you like me to go on the truck and get my stuff? Yeah, no, that's all right. No? You don't want your thing right now? The present I gave you? The present well, I gave you? What is it? Well, I can't tell you. That wouldn't be much of a present if I told you. Okay, I, you know, I don't need to tell you all this, but he told her in the chat log what it was. So just another moment of Lauren being a fucking idiot. He might have been drunk when he told her in the chat log, though. Well, you can go get it in a little bit or something, okay? okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Are you nervous? A little bit. A little bit not as bad as you thought you would be. Not Man, this could just be Lauren today. You know, all these little squeaks and laughs, you know, they're very uh, consistent with, like, the calls that we have of him at Christmas with his family or at the yard sale where he's trying to be personable. Um, I think I have a yard sale video in this playlist a little bit later. But, like, this is just Lauren right now. He's the exact same person as he was in 2007. And, and you know, fuck, like, the life-changing event of going to prison for five and a half years over the course of this period. Just as a person, you grow and change over five years. Th he's just the same person. <laughs> Are you nervous? A little bit. A little bit, not as bad as what you thought you would be. And he answers for people. Not as bad as what you said you would be. She didn't say that. She doesn't seem nervous at all, also. She's very confident. You're the one who's breaking eye contact and fucking around with the thing. Not as bad, but I still am kind of nervous. I'd rather, like, talk a little bit first, and then, like, so I'm more comfortable, you know? That's, like, cool. Uh-oh. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> a little bit first, and then, like, so I'm more comfortable, you know? That's, like, cool. She has no idea what that means. Good on Casey for playing this off, right? But she has no idea what cool means. Like, obviously, Kayla, the chat log. I'm pouring. Getting some more, more of a drink here. Obviously, in the chat log, she says cool all the time. But uh, Casey Morrow has no idea what that means. So it's actually pretty good of her to play that off pretty smoothly here. Good. I'm glad, you know. I like seeing you in person. That's a <laughs> <laughs> I like seeing you in person. Yeah, I like seeing you too. Good. This is getting hot. So, this is getting hot. How come? Oh, because press the red button. It's like oh. heater too. <laughs> you gonna have a seat too? I actually, I like to sit on the edge of chairs. Do you? Okay, so Chris is just about to come out. Um, it's been said like a million times, but man, I would love for a longer interaction. Like, you know, the Jeff Sokol, uh, Nervous Nelly interaction goes on for like Four minutes. It's like a long time. This has been less than three minutes that they've been talking. I bet they could have gone back and forth. And within like, within five minutes-ish, if it went on just a little bit longer, I think Lauren would have talked about Mr. Penis. Well, he's pretty nervous. I think, I think they could have got him to talk about the chat log in more detail than any other predator. Like really nailed him. But obviously they didn't know that at the time. But fuck, you know, I, I wish it would have gone on a little bit longer. Just who, who knows? Who knows what he would have said? Yeah. Hi, sir. How are you? All right, how are you doing? What's happening? Let's watch that face drop again. Second only to Dustin McFetridge, in my opinion. Dustin's oh shit face is the funniest thing in all of TCAP. That's not true. But it's the funniest reveal. Yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> look at that. Look at my guy's face right there. Hi, sir. How are Hi, you? Hi, sir. All right, how are you doing? What's happening? Not too much. Not too much. You a Boston fan? Hey, Dundee and Nuggies. Well, actually, I don't even watch baseball. Oh, but it's a Boston asshole. cap. It's a Boston cap, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. So what are you up to tonight? So Chris Hansen obviously had a setup for baseball, right? You know, looks like you just struck out. So something like that. But he didn't get that. Lauren fucked it up. Actually, I don't even watch baseball. Not a whole lot. Not a whole lot. Not a whole lot? No. Well, I'll tell you, for the last several days, you've been <laughs> up to a lot. You're a pretty prolific chatter there. Oh, man. I've never noticed this. Look at that deep, um, like, uh, like, swallow that Lord does here. Several days, you've been up to a lot. You're a pretty prolific chatter there. Right there. Yeah. Want to explain yourself? Not really. I never yeah. really mm -hmm. was going to do anything. You weren't really no. going to do it. No. I'll keep going. So you brought condoms. What else did you bring? 
I brought her a bracelet. A bracelet. And her. And her. And she is how old? And she's how old? She's supposed to be 13. Okay. Oh, boy. I, you know, I, I think that Lorne, you know, I think he's disappointed, right? He's like, I, I think right now, obviously he's shocked, but the secondary emotion is like self-pity, right? It's supposed to be 13, you know, an another woman lied to me. That's what's going on here. Obviously there's the shock and the terror of the father being there. I truly think he thinks it's the father because Lauren's a fucking idiot. I know he says, you know, I wasn't sure who it was. I was in a panic. I think in his mind, and I think it's most successful when the predators think that Hanson's the father because, uh, you know, they, they still have that glimmer of hope. Like, obviously it's a long shot that they'll get away with this, but there's a chance. Um, but yeah, I, I think he thinks he's the father. Supposed to be 13. And how old are you? 37. 37. You have kids? Today. No, unfortunately. Yeah. I've got nieces. Unfortunately. So, nieces. Yeah, I think the world of. Yeah, you talk about your nieces in, in, in the chat here. I love this. And you talk about how you like to spoil the nieces and how you would like to spoil this 13 year old girl like you spoil your nieces. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Is this the way you spoil young women? No. This is this is like if I were to give you one instance of Lauren's like complete and utter inability to think one step ahead in his in his you know in, inane plans, it's right here. Clearly, Chris is walking him into this. Right? You have nieces. Is this how you treat your nieces? That's like the next step. It's so obvious. I get it. He's in a panic and whatever, but. I feel like most other predators would kind of get out in front of it. Like, yeah, I, but I don't do this. You know, when they ask, when he asks like the teacher predators, like, and what age do you teach? High school. You know, they try and, they try and deflect a little bit. Lauren doesn't even have the confidence to do oh, that. Girl, like you spoil your niece. He just falls yeah. right into the trap face first. Is this first. the way you spoil young women? No. no. Now what's your name? Deep breath. This is what I was afraid of. <laughs> what were you afraid of? Stupid it's a, again it's about him he was just caught right this is what i was afraid he's he's feeling bad for himself right now this is what i was afraid of oh no this is what i was afraid of hey serenity and my balls itch and well, mr furley what were you and afraid Witcher. Of? just because she was a nice girl and she was a nice afraid girl. that she'd be a nice you still haven't told me your name though it's lauren lauren what Armstrong. Armstrong. And where do you live, Lauren? In Nashville now. Nashville. What do you do in Nashville? Actually, I work at a construction company. And okay, so I want to touch on that. Actually, I work at a construction company. Um, he says, he, he says actually before that, and it's true. He was working for a construction company, which is weird because usually when people add actually, there's like a little bit of deception along to it. Chris didn't say, do you work here? Do you work at the call center? And then Lauren said, actually, I work. It, like, there's no, there's no clarification. It's just, uh, actually, I work there. Like, Jesse Velez, um, is it Jesse? Yeah, Jesse Velez does that a lot. Actually, I work at a sandwich shop. I manage a sandwich shop. Actually, he adds a lot of actuallys, which is time to buy, or, like, it's to buy time to lie. But he doesn't lie, which is weird. Hey, Witcher. And what do you build? Um, I, actually, I just started that last week. Okay. So what do you building, build? Right now, I'm building a gym for a church. A gym okay. for a church. Is that a good job? Yeah. Now, besides all this chat here, and we'll go through that in a minute, you also sent a whole bunch of pictures. <laughs> now, why would you think that's appropriate? <laughs> Oh God! <laughs> he shows him. He shows him his own dick. I mean, you know, it's. I don't know how many times has this happened in human history, where someone ripped off a dick pic and showed it to like the owner of said dick, and you know that Lawrence even more embarrassed because a man saw his dick. Like it's just so perfect. No, why would you think that's a... Oh, and he closes his eyes. Oh. 
small. Yeah, turn turn it turn that upside down, Laura. You, we don't want to get a look at that. Those are all your pictures, right? Is that all you do in your spare time? No. Well, Outdoor Loser, uh, Outdoor Loser says Lauren's work record during the chat log has been similar to his record after prison. I would, I would say, if you mean after the second stint in prison, um, it, it's been more. It was more consistent. He was employed a higher percentage of the time during the chat log than since he's gotten out the second time. Who is right? You ever get in trouble like this before? No, I've never done this before. You've never done it before. Have you ever met anybody? Yeah, Serenity. Um, he's so sad for himself. No concern for the many kids that they saved. That's just part of the reason why I hate him. Yeah, he's got no... Um, like, you know, I, I get it. He's scared and he's caught. But, yeah, there's no... It, I, he was caught on his birthday. I bet that's going through his mind. It's like, this is all a setup. This is where the origins of, like, you know, they set me up. They lured me there. I wasn't going to do anything. You can tell... That he's just trying to, in his idiot mind, he's half trying to, like, work his way out of this and half trying to, like, recontextualize everything to make himself the hero slash victim. Are you in person who you first met online in the chat room? No. This is the first time. So yeah. what Lie. made you all of a sudden for the first time get online, chat up a 13-year-old girl and drive up from Nashville? to meet her for sex. Well, I didn't... Yeah, Lorne, Lorne. You know, as Chris is going to say, Lorne. I, I share, you know, the, the frustration with Hanson here. Like, seriously? Are you seriously going to argue that? Seriously? I just handed you a picture of you naked that you sent to a child. And you have condoms in your car. And... Two minutes ago, you asked for a kiss from somebody you thought was 13. Seriously, Lauren? Lauren. You send her naked photos. Mm -hmm. You have an explicit conversation. And right there, Lauren's not listening anymore. Right there, Chris said, you sent her naked photos. And it's in his mind, he's going, I didn't send her pictures. I didn't send her any pictures. Because he sent, you know, he was on cam. So he technically didn't send her any pictures. And he's going to argue that in the police interrogation after, you know, essentially convicting himself. But you know that that's what he's thinking. You know in his mind he's already going, well, technically, he's doing that technical bullshit. And you bring condoms. What does that add up to? No, I know. I know. Oh, jeez. Yeah, put your head, put your head in your hand. I bet uh, you know. W wish it all away. That'll probably work. At first, you seem like the good Samaritan. Oh God, <laughs> the protector. Don't tell me your last name. Don't ever tell anyone. What did he just do there? The protector. At first, you seem like the. Okay, with his right hand, he's holding on to the, um, to the papers. I good think. Good Samaritan. The protector. Don't tell me your last name. Don't ever tell. Okay, he puts them down at the end of the chair. He's getting more comfortable. Anyone from the internet. Did Chris kind of? Protector. Don't tell me your last name. Don't ever tell anyone no, he's from the reading. internet your last name. Okay. Okay. Why? Because there are some real weirdos on here, sometimes, and they might try to go looking for you. Ew. So don't ever tell them your last name, your address, your phone number, the town you live in, or the school you go to. Here it is. You're one of those weirdos. Hey, there it is. Just paired ever so perfectly. This is like a steak and, uh, and, and, and the right wine right here. You know, Hanson's face and uh, Lorne's face. The trying desperately to think of like some redeeming quality and the boom. Gotcha. Explain this, motherfucker. You're one of those weirdos. What do you got, Lorne? I mean... Was that some kind of a ruse to gain her trust? No, it no, it wasn't. It wasn't. So how did it go from, hey, be careful, don't give any... And he says to um, Disney girl or Kimmy Kimmy, one of the other people he was, uh, ch one of the other children that he was chatting up, um, you know, don't talk to anyone on here. Anyone could be a pervert, even me. I'm good to talk to, though. 
but don't talk to anyone unless it's me. It's amazing how how like not well practiced, but like he, I guess maybe well practiced. How how well he has his like own tactics down. Anybody your last name to hi? Here's some naked pictures of myself, and I'm coming over with condoms. I don't. Know. Hey, kick at me. I don't know. But well, let me walk you through it. Well, you must know something. I mean, help me to understand this. Help me out. I don't know what why you don't know. I even did. You don't know why you did it. Well, I think I know why you did it. You did it because you wanted to have sex with a 13-year-old girl. I don't think that'd be easy. No, what? what, what? I don't what? Think that was a... You know, I, I will say this. Um, I, I really like... Hanson clowning on these guys. This is the last thing, obviously. Hanson's got it down, you know. The 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 journalistic, you know, help, help me understand. You know, that's kind of gone away. He's kind of making fun of these guys, which is hilarious. But I would I would like to see the alternate reality where Lauren got caught in like an earlier sting, where Hanson just lets because Lauren has nothing, but he's trying to explain shit. So right here, you know, Chris kind of interrupts him. I'd love to hear where Chris, or, uh, Lauren was going. Well, I think I know why you did it. You did it because you wanted to have sex with a 13-year-old girl. I don't think that'd be easy. No, what? what, what? <laughs> I mean, that's great, but... You don't think it was it. Well, why don't you help me out? Why don't you help me tell out. me what it was? Because I, I wasted five years of my life on the internet talking to girls that... I, mm. Oh, Jesus. I gained my trust. And she seemed like somebody I could trust. You could trust. Uh, hey, Slash and Gay Mango. It's good to see you, Gay Mangoes. And Ace Eraser. Um, so, actually, Slash, I'm going to go pee right now while he's telling the Amanda James story. I'll be right back. So when you say you, you spent five years on the internet, what, getting taken advantage of by women? In what way? In every way. For instance. Um, I was over in Washington State. I... Started, that's when I started going on the internet. When you lived in Washington State, you started going on the internet, and what happened? I met a girl, and she said her name was Amanda James, and she told me that, that her, her daughter was her niece, and that she was watching her niece. Well, she was actually had custody of her niece. And then? Um, three uh, three years later, I moved back to Maine just to be close to her because she lived in Pennsylvania, and I didn't I didn't date anyone, I didn't see anyone because of her. All right. So what happened? I got back to Maine, and I was talking to her on the phone, and she uh, my sister wanted to say hi to her. And, my sister had been on the internet for a couple of years, and she was able to read people pretty good. And what happened? And she got on the phone with her, and she, uh, after she got off the phone, she was only on the phone with her for about two minutes, and she got off the phone with her and told me that, told me that she wasn't real. She wasn't real. She told me she was lying to me and she'd been lying to me all along. Did you ever meet this woman? Did you send her money? I sent her money. I sent her all kinds of Dale Earnhardt things. Dale Earnhardt things. Dale Earnhardt Jr. things. She was Dale. The race car driver. Yeah. And so because you got taken advantage by a couple of women on the internet, you thought it was okay to take advantage of a 13-year-old girl on the internet. No, I didn't. You didn't? No. Okay, so uh, what the fuck was the point of that story then? And I love how Hanson has to, because you know, Lauren, it's like um, Lauren is like telling a funny story to a friend right here, and he got to the, you know, the really funny part, um, and he didn't laugh. So now he's trying to make more shit up. He's trying to make it even funnier, and it's just like the more he's trying to make it funny, the more it's not funny. That's what he's doing here. He's telling him the story and trying to make it as tragic as possible. And it's really not tragic. You know, you got catfished online. You know, okay. That sucks. So, does that make it okay for you to try and molest a kid? Well, no. Fucking asshole. Hey, Michael Amund and... I thought I saw somebody else, but... 
If I missed you. I'm very happy that you talked to me, me before talking to anyone else, though. Thank God. This way, you'll be safe. That's what I meant, too. That's what I meant. Well, how... You don't know how what? To, you don't know how I could have lead to this. Well, here, here, let me take you down the road. This is how it works. Yeah, let's go, let's go down the road, Chris. You know, Chris is very kind. Like, he knows. I think at this point, he's like, I know the runners. I know the guys who aren't going to talk. And, like, how to, how to get... He knows how to get... Um, how to get the right thing out of people at this point in uh, in uh, TCAP. And he knows that he's got Lorne right here. You know what I mean? Like, he he ain't going nowhere. So we got plenty of time to go through this chat log. You started with this, and then it goes to... So this is as thick as a telephone book, by the way, this chat. I am rocking a pink mullet. Yes, that's correct. Hey, Dr. Cunt. You started chatting with her when? Last month? So you've been chatting with this woman, this young woman, for a month. Yeah. And so it starts with you being the protective older brother type. Correct, Cookie Whippy Bye. Flip through dozens and dozens of pages here. Hey, Ragefield Virgin. And ultimately, it builds into a very sexually explicit conversation. Right? He doesn't answer. I wish I were sticking it in you right now. <laughs> I, oh, oh, does is he get like a like a needle? Like is he gonna give her the flu shot? You know, is that is that what, is that what was happening, Lauren? How can that not be sexual, Lauren? Please, please. You tell her to delete her archives. Yeah, delete those archives after we stop talking again. Okay. Hey, Why did you want her to damage? delete her archives? Oh, this is so great. Help me out. Help me out. I didn't want to get in trouble. I didn't want her to get in trouble by her parents. Oh. He was looking out for her. Look, look. Oh, my God. Look at this mopey, you know sad look down you know it, charlie brown sad face let me get the uh just a second here this will go perfectly with the <laughs> no not that i need the sad music Arrested development. Oh, Lauren. Oh, it's a it's a tragedy that a good man like Lauren should be caught up in a sting like this. I didn't want to get in trouble by her parents. What a, what a good man. He just wanted to rape this girl and not get her in trouble by her parents. Mm -hmm. I didn't, I didn't, didn't want to get in trouble. I didn't want her to get in trouble by her parents. Oh. Yeah, Bunny, I originally thought that as well, that Chris should have highlighted. I think that they have, um, you know, the decoys kind of, like, go through it and highlight them before he comes out. I think that Chris is doing this on purpose, like, as a psychological torment thing. Like, there's so much in this chat log that you had with a 13-year-old girl. And I'm just, I'm a man, and I'm over here reading it. I'm an adult man reading it. And it's taking me forever. And I look at, listen to how long it is for me to read it. Oh, here's a good one. Is Miss Vagina thinking about Mr. Penis? What is she thinking? Mr. Help me out. On and on and on. <laughs> it's just like... Do you think naughty thoughts about me before you go to sleep? Oh, Lauren, don't look so sad. You talk about getting married to her. Getting married? She's 13. Huh? No, when she was 18. He could barely no. fucking talk. What do you mean she was 18? I meant when she was 18. Well, you were going to marry her when she turned 18. But you're just going to have sex with her from the ages of 13 to, to 18 now. Are you excited about me or my penis? <laughs> Did you bring anything else with you tonight? My 
Well, there's another one of Lorne's, like, um, uh, what's it called? Um, you know, him, him trying to, like, nitpick and be specific. He asked, did you bring anything else with you tonight? Obviously, he means for this little girl that you came to meet. Obviously. He's like, like what? Like, he wants to, he wants to get out of it on a technicality. He wants Chris to list things, which he's going to. And then Lauren can say, nope, 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 I didn't bring those things. And then he can get away with it on a technicality, like his fucking lie detector tests. You know, I weren't on the internet. I had someone else on the internet navigating the internet for me, but I was standing behind the internet. It's that same fucking bullshit. Again, hasn't changed since, since this thing. Like anything? No. Food, alcohol. But he did. Nope. Like anything? No. Brought, he brought her a bracelet. Oh. Uh -huh. Nope. So just the bracelet and the condoms. And the condoms. Nothing else. And I think in all of this silence and all of this he head, you know, rubbing, I think that this is the, uh, you know, the the genesis of like, I'm the victim. Uh, they set me up. I'm a good, I was just here to try and help. This is like where it, where it really begins. Because by the time he gets to the police station, he's already in that technicality mode, right? I didn't send any pitches. What do you think ought to happen? Oh, here's a good one. Oh, here's a good one. Is Miss Vagina thinking about Mr. Penis? <laughs> oh, <Is> no. She... <laughs> what's up with that? Yeah, Lauren, what's... Yeah, Lauren, what's up with that? No, like, not even from, like, a pedophile standpoint. What the fuck is up with that? Forget that you sent it to a 13-year-old. What's up with that? What do you think ought to happen? Oh yeah, cornhole three way. Uh, this crying to get out of uh, to get out of punishment, a hundred percent. Mama Gwen, you know, was uh, was was yelling at him. He put on the waterworks. Boom. Well, you better stop your bullshit. And that was it. It was all said and done. And it worked. It worked in childhood, and it's not working as an adult. And he doesn't. He can't adjust. Help me out. Help me out. I think I should go to counseling to get off the internet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No jail time. No jail time. Got to go to counseling. Go to counseling and get off the internet. That's the big problem. The internet was the big problem. Did you ever say to yourself, "Hey, man, I got you"? Never, thought, you never How thought you did. Now? Does this incident make you think that perhaps you have a problem? No, oh, nodding his head. Okay, so let's let's uh, I gotta. Gotta pour some more drank here. There we go. I don't know. I could have done that while, while the video was playing. Um, so, the problem is that Lorne goes online, right? And that people online lie. And that's the real big problem. It's not that he's attracted to children and that he tried to molest a child and that he sent her a bunch of inappropriate pictures over the course of a month and he's disgusting and he's done this before even though he lied about that. That's not the problem. The problem is that online, people lie online. And he needs to go to counseling to get away from people online who will take advantage of him. Because he's a good person. He's a good person. And he, online is just a den of depravity and evil. And he's just like, he's like the, the Holy Spirit coming to cleanse online. But they just, they got to him. You know, that, that evil temptress Kayla got to him. That's the real problem. Hey, ADD. What are you going to do about And Pee Wee's Burnt Pizza. I can do something that I can't do that. Oh go my on. god. Well. Oh, I know. Do you ever watch uh, television much? Well. You ever watch a program called Dateline NBC? Lorne is not listening. <laughs> you know, do you ever watch television much? He just shakes his head, he's crying. Like, what a weird. I love how Chris asked that question. It's so weird and random. Like, okay, now that we've talked about your pedophilia, have you been keeping up with Lost? Like, oh my god, so crazy, right? Like, it's so out of left field. You ever watch a program called Dateline NBC? <laughs> Where there's something I got. Yeah, 
Yeah, Jose Aguerta. The problem is Lauren keeps getting mistaken for Justin Timberlake. Tell me about it. I can't imagine. JT, what are you doing in Nashville? I'll tell you. Here it comes. I'm Chris Hansen with Dateline NBC. We're doing a show. <laughs> Let's get it again. I'm Chris Hansen with Dateline NBC. We're doing a show. Oh, God. Now you Look, I, you know, I noticed this the last time that I was watching it, and I can't not I'm see Chris it now. I'll try and pause it at the right time. Come on. Oh. Ah, it's, uh, the bottom thing is like is like in the way, but if you watch it on your own, the 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 video time thing is in the way. But if you watch it on your own, this bottom right-handed footage right here, where his eye, he's just like squinting his eyes as tight as they can, hoping to be anywhere else in the universe. He's crying with his mouth open. It's it's a beautiful picture. Now you're free to walk out of this house right now. <laughs> yeah, his keys. Oh. Uh -huh. If there's anything else you want to say, no. Hey, got G. He tries to make a quick escape, apparently not knowing what's in store for him outside. Let's get that walk again. I'm not. I'm not ready for the police. Oh. Now you're free to walk out of this house right now. Immediately when Chris says that, anything boom. Else you want to say, now would be the time to say it. And he does have something in his pocket here, in his You're shirt pocket. Look. free to walk out Look. of this house right now. Look, you can see in the top left-hand corner, the SIGs in his top pocket. Right there. Slip some SIGs in there. Else you want to say, now would be the time to say it. Don't want to go and meet a 13-year-old without a pack. Uh, headphone warning, everyone who's listening on headphones. It's going to be loud. I, I need to get my fishing license. It's in my console. Sheriff's office, down! Get down! On the ground, on the ground! Hansen just goes to pick up. He's like, all right, uh, one pedo down. <laughs> However many more to go tonight. As soon as he hears the police. I think, was this after or before Michael Patterson? Because if he's, like, standing, waiting, like, you know, not moving on until he hears the police... Because, of course, Michael Patterson ran back into the house after he got tased. So. He's taken to the local police station where his car is searched. On Mr. Armstrong's truck, we found some condoms, a variety oh. pack, plus some jewelry. That's Sterling and later, Silver right he's there. interviewed by law enforcement. I believe you transmit. All right, so this is Lorne in 2007 at 37 years old. Uh, doesn't look great, but he doesn't look that old here in this picture. All right, it's high quality, you know. Oh, God. Admitted <laughs> quite a few photographs. <laughs> I'd like it in the turning. I bet you would. All right. I like how he still has a watch. You know, he went to the pawn shop because he wasn't sure that he had enough gas, but he didn't try and pawn the watch. Pawn the watch, dumbass. Get five bucks. All right, so that was Lorne A20014 in 2007. 37 years old. Now, the next time that we saw him was nearly a decade later, right? It's 2016 ish with Ramona. So I've got a few uh, videos here. I might not watch all of this next one, but I've got a handful of like Ramona era. Lorne um, videos here, starting with everyone's favorite. Lorne reality show. I fucking love how Lorne says the Lorne reality show. It's like he's got a dick in his mouth. Lorne reality show. Close your fucking mouth. Hello, everyone. Hi. Today, uh, welcome to the Lorne reality show. Today, we're going to... Uh... He said it. He said it. Today, uh, welcome to the Lauren Reality Show. Lauren Reality Show. Today, we're going to... Uh, How do you suck at saying your own fucking name? Uh, make some sweet and sour pork bites. Okay. With rice and corn and pineapple. Okay. And I'm going to put this up close to the camera so everybody can see it. Oh, great. This is Gardein. And it's vegan. Gardein. 
And first thing we're going to do is put on a different shirt. So he's not making, this is a bit of a, you know, a, a incorrect name, right? He's not making vegan porkless bites. He's just heating up pre-made vegan porkless bites and uh, cooking rice. <laughs> Turn the pan on here. Uh-huh. Get that pan on. Three hundred right now. So you're gonna take two tablespoons. Yeah, bunny, because I know that you're a vegan. I put those this that cheese on top. I got you. Canola oil. Mm-hmm. Or you can use vegetable oil. Right. Any type of lubricant. Yeah, ADD. This is Lauren uh, dressed up. He's got dirty jeans. He hasn't taken a shower, so his, his hands are dirty. He's got the dirtiest hat in existence, and he's wearing a button-up shirt where the sleeves are rolled up at awkward lengths. If that's not dressed up, I don't know what is. This is a black tie gala. We can open up our bag here. Okay. Yeah, open up the bag. Now, these are instructions you're not going to get in any other cooking show. Inside, we've got the, the sauce. We've got the porpoise bites. Okay. We can mix this here. Oh, around. Jesus Christ. You don't have like a rubber spatula, you dumbass. Oh, bye. Bye. <laughs> Lawrence, I always will fuck his back. <laughs> uh, you, can, you can use them when they're frozen or when they're thawed. It really doesn't matter. So when they're thawed, they already thawed, they wind up uh, finishing faster than when they're frozen. Yes, that's how heat works. But uh, you can use do three different ways. You can do it on the, the stove top, on the toaster oven, or uh, well, actually two different ways. You really don't want to do it in the microwave. Sauce you can put in the microwave. Okay. Um, uh, maybe start stirring those uh, vegan porkless bites instead of reading the back of a of a of a vegan porkless bites package that anyone could fucking read if they bought it. Maybe start making the food. I I don't I don't I'm not an expert. I don't know my own uh, Lauren reality. Show. Fan here today. Thank you. Thank you. I'm gonna do things a little bit different than what the directions are saying. Why? Separate these. I thought they were, those two are sticking together. Oh, whatever. Yeah, just, yeah, just put the trash over there. <laughs> he has a trash can behind him. He just put the trash over there. <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry, I didn't want to, I have a lot of videos to get through, but this is funny to me. <laughs> He's like looking for a place to put it. Yeah, just right there. No, wait, no, wait, not yet. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> well, we're gonna want to keep turning them. We'll keep, right. Keep stirring them up here. It's the distribution of heat, correct? Yes, very good. And while we're doing, while that's doing that, mm -hmm. we'll see if we can get. You know, if you put like a, a top on that, it'd cook even quicker because the heat wouldn't escape. Just, I don't know. Hot water for our rice. Okay. And I'm using microwave spinach rice. So on the direction. Okay, just make the rice. Servings four, two, four, and six. We'll go with four. We need two cups of rice and two cups of water. Okay. And I'm not I'm not that talent level bunny. Um, I'm not quite up there. Some people do that and some people do it very well. So take our get the rice. Okay. Yeah. Gonna make a shit for my rice. Get some bits of rice in the bowl. Okay. Put it in the 
Okay. Lorna is saying, yum, 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 yum. is this mahogany? Yum, 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 yum. He said, ah, 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 ah. He's saying, ah, 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 ah. Are you enjoying the ah, 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 non existent pizza? Ah, 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 ah. Yeah, keep a close eye on that. You only want these till they're about a golden brown. Okay. I'm gonna turn that heat down so it gets a little bit smaller. So you're not what? I can't golden. hear you. This meal. You know, uh, pff, I don't know. It's probably not a great idea to put like the loudest thing in your cooking video closest to the camera. Well, here I'm looking forward to this. I know this is going to taste really good. You know, like, I, I've i never thought about making a cooking video, but I would think um, if you're going to do this, it's like, you know, uh, cook it off camera. You don't need to be cooking it the entire time and then show us the finished end product, right? Like, uh, I remember when I was little, I watched, like, Emeril. Uh, he, he had, like, a cooking a, a cooking show. And he would, he would put all the stuff in, like, a pan and whatever, and then he'd pull one out of the oven that was already cooked. I don't know, Lauren. Might cut down on the uh, run time of this 20-minute video to heat up vegan porkless bites. <laughs> oh, God, buddy. No, not the blender. Probably should have used homes for this, but oh well. Put some of these over here. Okay. Then I'm making a corn ready. I'm gonna keep using some earth balance soy free. Butter, this is vegan butter. You can use a spoonful. I'll do this one here in the microwave. Okay, <laughs> this one here in the microwave. <laughs> Even butter won't cooperate with Lorne. Even butter doesn't respect him enough. Spoonful. I'll do this one here in the microwave. <laughs> Why is this so Ooh, funny? I'll do this one here in the microwave. <laughs> Even the butter is like, fuck you, dude. <laughs> hey, Gordville. Ooh, I'll do this one here in the microwave. Hey. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, you scrape it up off the table. <laughs> don't, don't get some more butter. <laughs> So here I've got. We can't see old it. Oh, Colonel Fire roasted corn is what I'm going to use today. Oh, okay. Instead of regular corn, add a little more flavor to it. He's using vegan butter, Allison. Come on now. <laughs> Make sure these don't burn. <laughs> Amy Ramirez, that's a great name for a Lord cooking show. 87 cooking tips. <laughs> Every episode, you could give 87 cooking tips. Okay. But I want to see these already smelling the food, so she wants part of it. 
Okay. Our, open our sauce here. Who's Sadie? This is my first Lauren reality show video. Who's Sadie? Is that your wife? Is that your girlfriend, Lauren? Who's Sadie? Ah. Yeah, half of that on the table. Oh my god. Yeah, half of that on the table. What did he do to cut that? Yeah. He held the part that he was gonna cut off? I know he's stupid, but... See, this is an example of Lorne never learning anything. If you've ever done this even once in your life, you know that you hold the part that contains the liquid, not the part you cut off. How many times do you think he's done this? I bet he's done this every day for the past 52 years. Kim S, he was vegan because he, he was encouraged uh, to make a vegan cooking show by Ramona, who was vegan. So, you know, Lauren's vegan. Just like how when Lauren is dating, um, uh, uh, Jamie, he's a big Alabama football fan because Alab or, uh, Jamie is. Hey, that damn doctor. I know Sadie's his dog. I'm just, you know, I'm just saying. Hey, Pine Bear Patriot and Mo Green. Porkless Beach. Oh, yeah. Oh, what is he doing? What the fuck? Yeah, this is around. the grossest thing ever. I would, I would stop. I would stop. I'd be like, all right, I'm not fucking putting this out on the internet. What are you crazy? What are you crazy? It's a mess for me to clean up today, but. But. Oh well. Like ninety percent of this meal was on the table at one point. Like not like on the table as a metaphor. Literally, the butter fell on the table. That shit fell on the table. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. <laughs> Blobby flay. Yes. Well, that okay. smells good already. <laughs> it's going to be quite a little treat today. A qu I'm pretty sure an entire bag of vegan porkless bites is supposed to be a meal for a family. Not a little treat, you fucking fat ass. And you know we went to Burger King after this and had a, had a, uh, quart not a quarter pounder. He, he McNabbed a quarter pounder. What's it called? A, a Whopper. Got a Whopper with ba barbecue sauce and cheese. Hey, Sean McClure. Alright, I'm gonna turn this down. JFP is almost where I want him down. Beguy Fieri, Logan W, fuck you. <laughs> I'm gonna turn these here down. Yeah, that was a bold, uh... That was a bold move of him, uh, Allison. I, I picture that meme of, uh, you know, the Tiger King. I will never be able to financially recover from this. Three and a half minutes on the... on the rice. Turn these down to warm. You got the microwave going. Now, I'm going to do something a little different here. Okay. All right. My pineapple is frozen. Why? Right. They're so, not peas. Okay. Is he thinking like, you know, you get frozen peas and you put them in a dish because peas are really small and they'll heat up really quickly? Pineapple chunks aren't peas. But I did just stuck it in a tub of hot water. Okay. It out some, but it's still frozen. So I'm going to take and stick some pineapple right in here with the... What? Some pineapple right in here with the... With all the, the porkless bites. I am so perplexed. Why? Um, 
I'm going to take it and add a little bit of juice to it, too. Juice. Just to help put a, put a little more flavor. Well, you know, Cornfield, I you know, I, I stand by that statement. It's true. Pineapple chunks aren't peas. Apparently, I didn't think I'd have to say that, but apparently some people don't understand that. Apparently some people think that any fruit or vegetable, you know, gets cooked at the same rate, even if it's frozen. Apparently that needs to be said. Pineapple flavor into it. Hey, the Cornville Nightmare. I like the taste of pineapple, so. That's nice. All this, the sauce and, and the pineapple. With. Does he think it's going to be like hot fudge on ice cream? Like, you know, the hot and the cold is going to work really well. Absorb into the porkless bites. And okay. This is the first time I've ever made this stuff here. It looks like it's the first so, time you've ever used your hands. Oh my God! That He's not even a little bit. I'm gonna take this and cover over that. Get that pineapple to melt. <laughs> what a thorough. And he puts the spatula right down on the fucking thing. You know, whatever. I'm sure he cleaned that table really well. I mean, I certainly hope he did because all of the ingredients are winding up on the table at some point. And this is butter and this corn a little bit. Is he adding corn to this? Get that sauteing in there. Okay. You don't want to get the corpus bites too off of hot because they're already ready where I want them at. So. God, that looks so watery. Get some corpus bites around in there. Hey, Jason Spears. Yeah, now it's getting there. Oh, I can tell already this game tastes really good. It's gonna taste really good. Why are you trying to sell me on this? Boy, that smells good. That smells good. So, okay. so we got 28 seconds left. For the rice. Now I'll put the corn in. I don't know. I'm not like a culinary expert, but I don't think corn and pineapple work really well together. Not a boil up again, so we don't get too too much boiling going on. Okay. Oh, Jesus Christ. Alright, so the rice is done. Okay. It's done. Hot. Now put a corn in there. He's putting the corn in the microwave? Okay, so the ingredients list. I assume it's like some barbecue sauce that uh, he put on the vegan porkless bites. So it's like pork um, meatballs, pineapple, uh, a bunch of rice cooked in a microwave and corn. That's the ingredients list. <laughs> We're gonna wanna take a vegan butter. Okay, it is vegan butter. So, he is being vegan. Maybe. I thought he was gonna give that butter straight to Sadie. I'm gonna chunk it. Yeah. A little bit more in there. Mixing around the butter with around with the rice, you know. I bet my life that rice is undercooked. A little bit more flavor. Yeah. Oh my god. 
she's already in Eden. Hanging around, she's wanting to have the first taste of it, but she's not getting it. How charming. All right, that's turning out really well. It's, it's turning out really well. The pineapple's almost entirely unfrozen. Pineapple, yeah, but it's still frozen. Line. Does he not have a knife or like a pair of cooking scissors? Yeah, that's gonna be real good. Okay, that tastes really good. What? Stop selling me on it. That is really gonna taste good. I heard you. Hey, rack a bolt jet. All right. I'm gonna take a turn of that off. Just let it warm there. Corn is done. Okay. <laughs> it just occurred to me, like, we went from the sting, you know, <laughs> and I think that this is sadder. Like, I think Lord is happier in this video, putting together the vegan pork spice, but from my perspective, this video is sadder than the sting. <laughs> I just want to do my cooking show. So, okay. mix it around a little bit. Yeah. All right. some rice right everything takes like three times as long as it should right now we take some rice just take some fucking rice and put i know you're gonna compile everything on a plate that's how eating works just do it this is one meal that i, I know i'm gonna look forward to eating what you're just about to eat it are you not looking forward to eating it right now what are you talking about That's a lot of rice. Oh, yeah, add some more. Add some more. Yeah, Chupa Grandson, I do think that he ate the entire plate. He can't afford those vegan porkless bites. When was this? Like 2016? I bet that those were like 13 bucks. Like, they were probably pretty. And he lives in the middle of nowhere, so, you know, even more expensive. I bet those were a pretty penny at Walmart. He, he couldn't afford to let this meal go to waste. Yeah, you, take, put, you can mix the going in with the rice, or you can... Yeah, that, that's true, Lauren. Put it off the side, do whatever you want to do. Me? I'm going to. Dude, oh, he's been, he's been putting this together for, like, a full minute. Just, he's been putting rice on a, that's all he's done so far is put rice on, it took him a minute to put rice on a plate. Take some of my porkless bites and right. stick them on here. Yeah, get some of those frozen pineapple chunks. That's really, that's going to be really good. This is a nice little snack. Oh, that looks good. This is, uh... Smells. Smells good. It's a 2,500 oh, really calorie good. snack. I like it. I like it a lot. Oh, Jesus. L-A-W-T. A lot. 
Yeah, we, we got it, Lauren. We got it. <laughs> Cat G. Well, it's a minute, Rice. Get out of here. Get out of here with that shit. Uh, Jose Aguerta, you can't rush stupidity. That's true. You're right. It's got to take its sweet time. Again, three times as long as it should. Just fucking put some on the plate or cut till you having it on the plate. Yeah, it's okay. completely unimportant. Yeah, walk away for a bit. Okay, yeah, take the rice, put it on the fucking plate. Oh, yeah, grab some more. Grab, grab all of it. Grab all of it. All he needs to do is put some on a plate and take one bite and then go, that's really good. You should try it. I'll see you next week on the Laura Alge Hole. Oh, my God. All right. Oh, my God. Him taking that in, like, oh, Jesus. Watch him, like, adjust. He's got it on the plate. Steps back. Holy fucking shit, I gotta eat All this All right. Now. Looks like vomit. Yeah, give us a good look. This right here. Uh, no, Clementine, this is his trailer. It's just, uh, it's just at an angle. This, is this, um, I think that this is the trailer of failure. Or is this, um, is this his first trailer that he wasn't paying rent on? And look at that. Mmm, appetizing. Oh, Jesus Christ. That looks like uh, somebody gets exploded, like in Lorne's novel. You know, that looks like the guts of someone who's been exploded. Is it to turn out heaven? Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. Oops. Whoops. Oh, <laughs> Whoops. <no>. Whoops. <laughs> God. That, man, that, that, that vegan pork bite is the one that got away. Is it to turn out heaven? <laughs> That vegan porkless bite doesn't want to be around Lorne. Even inanimate objects are like, fuck you. Get here. Just turn on heaven. Nah, bro, I'm out. Yep. Blood drop and everything. Oh my god. That's what it looks like. Man. Right, yeah. Now it's time for the taste test. Oh, Jesus. It's gonna be a bit hot, but. You fucking nuked everything in the microwave. I bet it's hot. If it's too hot, just eat one of those pineapple chunks. <laughs> It'll cool you down. Oh my god. Have you ever seen someone about to throw up more? Oh no. Is this, can I get this higher quality? I cannot. Well worth cooking and it doesn't take long to cook it oh my god choking it down boy is it good oh no yeah take another bite yeah there you go that's it everyone oh okay oh i didn't i didn't know i thought he was gonna cook something else okay all right hope you enjoy the show today well i was not as long as I have some notes. Normal show, but I felt like it took fucking forever. Doesn't take that long to cook, to cook this, and it's, an, it's pretty much a nice, quick meal, and it's healthy. And well, it's not healthy. Um, it's like twenty. What you what he has on his plate right there? It's like twenty five hundred calories worth of food between the rice and the excess amounts of butter that he put in the rice. The vegan porkless bites, the barbecue sauce. I'm sure it has, like, breading on it. It's not a healthy meal, Lauren. Just because it's vegan doesn't mean it's healthy. Hope you enjoyed the show. I can't and say we'll I did. see you next week on oh. Lauren Reality Show. Uh, on Lauren Reality Show. Let's get that one more time. Hope you enjoyed the show. And we'll see you next week on Lauren Reality Show. For the next thing, as you can hear, Sadie's all ready to have the bite. Yeah, she's fucking starving. You don't feed her. Make some gravy train next week and, and give some actual food to Sadie. How about that? We'll see you next week on the next uh, show. 
Yeah, I'm not exactly sure yet what it's gonna be gonna be that we're gonna be making, but hey, Chucky, everybody have a good week and I'll hope see you enjoy the do. show. And I hope you said he said that like six times, man. He really hoped I enjoyed the show. Instead of putting any effort into the show, he's just gonna hope I enjoy the show. Hope you enjoyed the meal. Bye. Uh oh. Oh, special thanks to my vegan coach. Oh, hello. Who's that? They're not credited. I like, oh my god, the credits. I bet Emma told him that he needed credits. Produced by Lorne Armstrong. Starring Lorne Armstrong. Executive producer Lorne Armstrong. Written by Lorne Armstrong. Okay, alright. That's that's that one. This is the Ramona. We're still in the Ramona saga. After all this time. We're still in the Ramona saga. So let's move on to everyone's favorite video. I got some short ones here. This is me. <laughs> like it. Oh, that's who that is. I, I wasn't sure. This is me. Who? Like I said, I'm taking a shower. Right. It's too bad you can't get the whole picture, but... Ah, rats. You're too busy concentrating on your new guy. You know, yeah. the one you spent all night with last night. Right. Stayed up all night with last night. Oh, that guy. Couldn't talk to me this morning because you stayed up with him all night last night. Now, I have a question. Is that you, and are you taking a shower? Man, you couldn't answer my call until, like, around 3 o'clock today. Right. To just charge your battery because you stayed up with him all night. Oh, okay. So, don't think I'm stupid to your fucking crap. Okay. I'm not stupid to your crap. Okay. I know I'm not the only fucking guy you've been talking to. Because Rats. last I've night, had. Did, when you stayed up with him all fucking night. Oh. So, there you go. I'm far from stupid. And more fun on... Oh, oh, he couldn't quite, he couldn't quite get the cutoff right for that. But he, I assure you, he's far from stupid. He can't quite figure out camera technology. But he's far from stupid. Okay, so here's another one. Um, <laughs> this might be my favorite L'Oreal Lor episode. Um, it's the, uh, my weak coffee will yell at me, why don't you? And he looks kind of like, if you, like he looks relatively similar to the Takeja Predator. We couldn't really see his face in those last two videos, but he looks pretty similar to his Takeja Predator segment. Hello, everyone. Hello. For some reason, people have been wanting to know the recipe for my weak coffee. Okay. Well, I'm going to give it to you right now. Great. This is what I do. I already fixed it. Okay. Got my pot of coffee. Your what? Got my pot of coffee. What's a pot? I don't have one of those in my kitchen. It's up to four cups. Okay, did everyone get that right? Um, you need water to make coffee, and then you put it into your coffee machine. Okay. I don't see many pens and paper out right now. I know no one in the world knows how to make coffee in a coffee maker. Yeah, Kim S., it's, it's a complicated recipe. Coffee grounds, water, that's it. it. But, you know, we need someone enlightened to walk us through it. Only Lorne knows how to make weak coffee. Y you wouldn't know it by listening to it, but uh, weak coffee is just, uh, you know... Uh, Weak coffee. You got to put it in a paw, whatever that is. Like an animal paw? Take some Folgers. Oh, Folgers, okay. What's that? Is that coffee? Let me get a look at it. Right there. What is it? Okay. Right oh, there's Folgers. the amount that I put in for four oh, okay. cups. Or for one, yeah, for four cups. How much is it? Just that much? Gotcha. Take some Folgers, put it in there. Weak it out. It actually goes out. Okay, did everyone get that straight? There's four cups of coffee and Folgers, some amount, and then you put it in the coffee machine. Did everybody get that? Kim S., did you get that? I know you were confused earlier. I hope you uh, hope you wrote that down. I'll repeat it if you need me to. It's kind of complicated. A 12-cup paw. Paw. To right. three and a half uh, scoops. Okay. Of coffee. 
Put and it just in shove there. it in there. Yeah, just shove it in there, Lauren. Who gives a shit? Slam that down. Put it in there. Fuck you. Put it in there. Yep. Turn on and make it. Oh! I, you know what? I had gotten to this part in making coffee. You turn it on. That's where I was falling short. Which turn on gotcha. with is my coffee, which What's I got that? some in this cup right here already. Okay. All right. And I take just a little bit of sugar. Like How much? Put that it much. in front of the camera. Oh, uh, well, you okay. see it that much. Right. And I take a little bit of creamer. About yeah, that much. Please put it at the very bottom of the camera. That'd be great. Thank you. Oh, perfect. Okay, did everybody get that? You take a uh, coffee and you put it in the coffee machine. Then you make coffee. And then uh, you put some sugar and creamer to the amount that you want. And then uh, and then, uh, then, then you got your coffee. Did everybody get that? I know, you know, it's very confusing. We needed a video of a pedophile explaining how to make coffee. Uh, but uh, we, we got it now. We got it. The, the, the enduring mystery of mankind is finally solved. Kim asks, you're going to have to fucking take notes faster. We don't slow down for no one around here. Stir it. And drink. And boy, doesn't that taste good. Oh, well, that's great. Well, the thing is... All right, so uh, we got the coffee made. We got the wheat coffee made. That's the video. All right. I'll see you next week on the L'Oreal Age Hole. Uh, wait, wait, what's this? Two minutes and 17 seconds, and we've got uh, three minutes and 51 seconds in the rest of the video. I wonder what's going to happen. Maybe he's going to teach us how to make, like, uh, you know, a coffee cake or something, you know. I bet he's not going to bitch and complain about the people who watch his videos. That would be dumb, right? I wonder what the rest of this video is going to be about. The reason... That, thank you, one of those weirdos. Can I make my coffee weak like that? Uh-huh. Uh it's because I like the taste of it, for one. Okay. For another, I can drink it all day long and all night long, right up to bedtime, and it does not keep me awake at oh, that's all. that's great. Okay. Um, I think you just need one reason to drink it, and that's that you like it. But, okay, thank you for giving us two, you know. A couple of sources, that's good. Hey, Notorious, be right us. It's just, I like the taste of it. Oh, great. So, for all of you mm -hmm. that want to criticize my coffee. I don't think anybody's criticizing your coffee. Go ahead. Okay. You don't like my coffee? Don't drink it. It's that Correct. simple. Yes. No need to make a big deal out of it. And think of all kinds of stupid things to say that some of you do mm -hmm. really think of some really dumb right. things to say. I know. About some really dumb things. Well said. So I'll clear something else up for you, too. Oh, great. Uh, what does this have to do with weak coffee? I will get my chat log together. What? <laughs> Excuse me? And I will show you. And I will show you the recipe that I gave Kayla for my weak coffee. <laughs> places that, it, that I said no in that chat log. Oh, great. Then argue with me about it. Okay, sure. I will also tell you more things about the sting. Mm, oh. That, that's called a tease. You know, at the end of your video, you tease the next video. That's smart. Lauren, see, he gets it. He gets it. He gets it. I just want to do it on this video. This is the coffee video. Let's <laughs> concentrate on the coffee. You're the only one talking. Let's concentrate on the coffee, bitch. We were concentrated on the coffee. You're the one who started talking about your fucking chat log. I just want to do it on this video. This is the coffee video. Right. Let's concentrate on the coffee. You're the only one talking. Try that coffee. See how you like it. If you don't like it, it's pretty simple. You don't like it, don't drink it. Make Correct. it the way you want it. You like it, drink it. You can drink it all day long. It's not. Oh, okay. If you like it, you can continue to drink it. Kim S, did you get that? Uh, you can uh, you can keep drinking it if you like this coffee, just to let you know. If you don't like it, you don't have to drink it. But if you do like it, you can drink it. So just like every other beverage in the history of mankind, um, that's how that works. Just, it, 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 you know, maybe write that one down. Not even going to hurt you a little bit. Well, that's great. Oh, it's not going to hurt me? Perfect. There's no poison in it? Awesome. Have a seat. Oh, yep, okay. I'm, I'm deep in the weeds on this one. He's wearing the same outfit uh during the uh emma visit that he was in that last video so come on come on oh jesus you want this yet? <gasps> baby Did you want this yet? see roscoe his eyes opened wide when you said that you want this yet? 
biscuit. She's like, no, the, biscuit. the Mexicans in there. And uh, you can see the water damage on the roof. It's really, it's really nice. I'm sure that he's fixed that. He fixed that. He actually, he has fixed it because he just got rid of the roof. See, that's, that's, uh, that's smart, uh, that's smart craftsmanship. She's gonna steal me. Winnie warned me about her. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to scratch your nose, little one. Doofy, doofy, relax. Sadie, hi. There you go. Good girl. Good girl. She's so cute. <laughs> I was surprised she approached me when I walked in. I was, I was too. Well, she's done this to you. She's done it to Maria. Uh -huh. She's done it to mom. And But you're the only ones that she's done that to. Wow. And so it's like she doesn't really, I don't know, maybe she can sense something about, that we're, about you. I love you. Yeah. I love you guys. I love you guys. But guy, I've never, so sweet. never seen her come right up to a guy at all. Really? Did, did she come up to you? Yeah. She did. She did? She walked she, right up to me. She senses the probably sense We're together. Yeah. yeah. You're so affectionate. There's a lot more space in here than it looks like from outside. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it does. It was. See, they had a on there. And he, had, <laughs> he keeps shaking my uh, hand. He had it fucking dirty in here. It was terrible. When you first moved in here? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, his car, the carpet was never how they ever fucking vacuum. Oh, God. And he had a Kirby vacuum cleaner. Wow. But he didn't have the energy to do it because he yeah, was dying. He's he sick. Hi, so. no. You got extra closet space over there? Yeah. Oh, see, what, what I was going to do with this <laughs> is I was going to take make an addition onto that. When he knocked that She's always called me that. I'm surprised she hasn't called my mom that too. Stupid. I hate that shit. Well, she's getting hers because she'll be in church all fucking day. She is. My mom said mass isn't over until 9.30. Until 9.30 at night? Yeah. Whoa. You know, he, uh, whoops. He really looks like a, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. That is, uh, that is worrisome. I, I, I'm concerned about this picture here. He really does look like a wax, um, a wax model. Also, bitching about a free trailer that you don't pay rent on. Like, fuck you, dude. <laughs> hey, Cornville, Consigliere. I don't know how she got her phone back to call you. Cause no, because I texted, no, I texted my mom from the driveway and said, give one of your phone right here. I'm surprised that she's acting as good as, as she is with your mom. Yeah, Mary Hirsch, his movements are so awkward. It's like he's an animatronic. Like, he really has, um, you know when kids are young, like toddlers, they don't really have, like, you know, the motor control of their body very well yet, so a lot of stuff that they do is really awkward. Lorne reminds me of that. Like, he, he, does, he hasn't quite figured out his own body quite yet. He's still, like, he's still getting used to it. It's like his first day in his new body. Yeah. Well, what she must really her, like your mom. What is her mom not telling us, too? I mean, oh, yeah. She might be sticking up for her. No, my mom wouldn't stick up for her, but my mom would bribe her with weed. And you know what's interesting? This is, like, a really good insight into Lorne and Mama Gwen and Aunt, Aunt Sharon. You know, sitting down, shooting the gab. This is them. They're talking about Winnie. You know Lorne loves this gossip shit. You know, they're talking trash about Winnie. Yeah, Winnie, you know, she's got some serious problems, man. This is them talking about Roy. This is an insight into what goes on with that. Because my mom cleaned all, cleared my safe in my bedroom of all my weed, and Winnie got pissed. And my mom said, I have it, but I'm not going to give it to somebody who misbehaves the way you do. Maybe that's why she's been good. That might be. So she can get stoned. Because yeah. I have all her money at dance. He has no place. idea what she's talking yeah, about. Yeah, good. Good and you? Yeah, good and you? <laughs> <laughs> Good news. Well, she went, good news. Good news. And you can really tell the age at this point. Um, I don't know the exact year. I'd guess it'd be like 2016, 2017-ish when they went to go visit him. But you can, I mean, you can really tell the age uh, between the sting and Lauren in this, in this, uh, in this video. Definitely looks I older. I wonder, and my mom's going to make her go to confession. I wonder what, if she's going to. If she's actually, yeah, if she's actually going to say something. Excuse me. If she's going to say something. She's going to say I killed somebody. And she needs more than confession. She needs an exorcism. <laughs> yeah. 
add them fucking drugs. She's, she starts them fucking with that devil worship shit, too. That's the other thing she oh, fucking goes in. Yeah, that fucking bitch and her addiction. Here, let me finish smoking and drinking for a second, and then I'll talk more about how Winnie is pathetic for having an addiction. Fuck she you. She plucked the hair from Dan's chest and did voodoo on him. It didn't work. I, I was just saying, did you feel anything any different? <laughs> no, you were going to follow up with her the next time she saw you. Remember, she came out of the room and she was like, hi, Dan. And you're like, hi. And she said, oh, damn it. <laughs> and then she tells me she's going to sick the jackal on her. Yeah. Or she's going to make you walk the way of the jackal. What the fuck walk is the jackal? The, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. I have no <laughs> idea what the fuck a jackal is. What is? I was going to say. A jackal lantern? A jackal lantern? A jackal lantern? Oh, God. She's, she's got some fucked up shit. <laughs> and she does, too. Her shit stink bad. Oh, Jesus. Cocaine shits. That's Jesus. what it is. I remember that. She, she's going to have to carry herself a laugh. It smells like somebody... She, she really needs to... Um, yeah, the cocaine squirts. Yeah, a, yeah. Bathe a little bit more than she... You know what's weird? Uh, we've probably seen the two happiest moments of Lauren's life here tonight. Right? The sting before Chris Hansen walked out. And right here. This is the happiest moment of his life. Know what she does. Why does she try to turn you on and she smells like B.O.? Yeah. Come on, come on, is Roscoe going to fight her for it? No, you got to watch out. Uh, Roscoe, don't touch. All right. Sadie, you want a treat? Uh, Wes, wasn't he arrested in, um, in the summer of 2019? So he was, like, talking to Debbie at that point. So I think you're right. I think it would have been, like, 2018 when they went to visit him. Come on, pretty girl. Come on, pretty girl. Come on, You're Scott. smart, He's Roscoe. Scott, huh? Roscoe, don't die. Roscoe, don't die. I think he's watching Even NBC. Come to me. She's scared. Let me get a picture of her. Patience. Oh, Yay. Yeah. Aw. Winnie will love that. <laughs> Good girl. Good girl. <laughs> you licked the heck out of my fingers. Lauren, can I wash my hands in your seat? You can if you want to. Yeah. I can't wash them for you. Well, who says? <laughs> <laughs> you see, he was about to make a joke, but couldn't come up with anything. Lauren, can I wash my hands in your seat? You can if you want to. Yeah. I can't wash them for you. Well, who says? Watch. <laughs> he, was, <laughs> he was trying so hard to come up with a with a funny joke or a side right there. Who says? <laughs> make yourself the home here, don't... Don't, Make yourself to home here. Don't ask for anything. You want it? Get it. Just don't piss out the back door. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, you relax. You don't need any, any more right now. What more right now. Lab? He, he's mostly black lab. Yeah, uh, I think sorry. he's got something else in him too, though. I just don't know what it What's is. What's he got around his neck? Is that just a collar? What's that gold thing? No, yeah. Right oh, there. That right here? What's that? Is that just the style of the collar? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh. oh, no, you oh, yeah. look up the yeah, buckle. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's a buckle. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. How old is uh, Sadie and Roscoe? See, Roscoe is... I get Roscoe... I think... I think a year after I... Get out okay. of incarceration, so I've been on what? Incarceration. Two, 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 Make a bar right from there. Yeah, yeah, that's what your house needs, a bar. And over. And make cupboards up the top and, you know, move stuff around. So, so and put an island in there. So it looked like... Yeah, 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 don't fix the water damage on your roof. Make a bar. Mm -hmm. And you guys going to be able to actually have a table that I can sit out here. I'm going to do. Uh-oh. <laughs> you will be mad if you mess with her present. I actually, because there was something different in the box, I thought perhaps. Oh, okay. But it she really is a douche. Else in there? Okay. <laughs> no, it's a douche. 
she couldn't <laughs> fold a few hundreds and put it in there. Right, yeah. Right. And, and I know. Hey, what the hell? I hope you have fucking douche box. Both are going to be a couple hundred dollar bills. Oh, Ma geez, imagine putting hard. that in the yard sale and someone buys it and there's like a thousand dollars. No, no, no. That Lauren, would be fucking awesome. Tell her, tell <laughs> her, thank you. Money in there. No, yeah. don't. Tell her, thank you for the fancy water from California. <laughs> the fancy water bottle. Tell her it tasted good. Yeah, and say, yeah. my breath smells so fresh. Yeah. Fuck, this shit was fucking good. That shit. I think I'll get drunk all that shit from now on. Oh my gosh. If you tell her that, she'll be pissed. Man, man, Lauren is just finding all of his jokes really funny. I don't think any, I don't think Dan or Emma have laughed at any of his jokes, but Lauren is just cracking up over here. She probably expected you to get angry about it. <laughs> probably. <laughs> Maybe that's why she put so many joke gifts in the stocking. Yeah, to yeah, make, him mad. make me mad. Because he want, she wanted for us not to have a good time. She said she was going to try to start a fight with him last night, so he would be mad at me and not try to... And not, and not try to see you. And not, well, no. You, well, you she said, thinks that she thinks that the reason you hey, want sorry, to come please. over is so Dan can go use the restroom and we can go fuck or something. Real quick. <laughs> yeah. That's not funny. That what part of that? Uh, there was no joke there. That wouldn't work very well considering the restroom's right next to the bedroom. Yeah. <laughs> you know I'm not quiet. We wouldn't. <laughs> she she's fucking. Jesus, she Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> Where else talks about that? Well, you and Coke. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. And Satan. And Hitler. And, Hitler. Oh, yeah. and, and the Jackals. Hitler, yeah, you do. And <laughs> you come up way more than Satan and a little bit more than Hitler. <laughs> I'm right in that sweet spot. <laughs> she told oh, she told Dan, you should just shave the sides of your mustache at the ends of your nose. And she says some really nice things about you. Well, when you're not, when I'm not on the phone, right? right. right. Yeah, right. She'll even say something. Just don't ever tell Lauren. Yeah, don't this, ever but... tell Lauren. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> but I can't wait to grab his biceps. Jesus Christ! They're, Jesus they're Christ! Right no, they're, they're they're just friends. They, they they fucking. She doesn't want anything with Roy. She's she's seen how Roy is. Yeah. yeah. Oh, talking about Roy. Yeah. yeah. And, I mean, you've heard, you've talked to Roy. Yeah. So. Well, I haven't talked to him. Well, you can't have a conversation with Jeff Kirshen? No, he has a conversation with himself. He just right. wants somebody there to, to hear his conversation with himself. Yeah. Oh, wow. Hmm. I wonder, uh, I wonder if that describes anyone else I know, Lauren. You've talked to Roy. Yeah. So. Well, I haven't talked to him. Well, you can't have a conversation with the guy. No, he has a conversation with himself. He just right. wants somebody there to, to hear his conversation with himself. Yeah, hmm. that's how it is, really. Yeah. Cause he is loving this. He is loving this. You know what's crazy? This is like the best part of his life is like shit talking his brother. The only, the best part of his life is shit talking the only person who actually has affection for him. I think it was Wendy that told me that. I she said something about this person from Africa, but then that was done, and Roy was. Oh yeah. Seeing a, a new woman or something named Julie. Lighten up another sick. So I didn't know. He calls what... her Ju she calls her Julie, by the way. <laughs> know what the Judy? Jew was. No, Jew, Jew. like Julie. Oh, oh Jew. Julie. <laughs> so I didn't know what he called. Winnie's racism is hilarious. Or, or because he says or I guess anti Semitism, not racism. He wants to have a relationship with her, but she doesn't because she's seen him. Because she is I mean she drinks too, but she doesn't not like him. Why wouldn't he... Oh, man. Roy's got a drinking problem? What a piece of shit. Have another Bud Light that's against your probation, asshole. Stop. Well, I understand if he's an alcoholic, that's all he's going to come for us. But yeah. if he wanted Julie bad enough... He must not want her bad enough. Stop and, and show her the real you. But that's the thing, too. And he bragged, too, about that... What was it? One week... The first week that they stayed down in Bangor in the hotel room, that... He stays sober all week. Right. Julie saw him as sober. And he said, "He said Julie likes me, the real me." And I said, "Yeah, Roy. Everybody likes the real you. You're not a fucking pain in the ass." Yeah, let him out more often. Uh, yeah, I said, "If you stay away from the fucking alcohol, you said I'm not gonna drink anymore." That's a Come shame. on that weekend, he fucking drank. That's sad. That's a shame. It, it is too. And he used to help me do a lot of stuff. You know, he blames it on you now. Yeah, oh, he, yeah. he comes over to help you, and you leave. Uh, yeah. I leave. Oh, I leave because you're fucking yeah, here, Yeah, I was like, do you ever... 
Pretty sad I can't stay at home because I can't stand it. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's, and I can't let him drive. I don't know how your mom Can't let him drive anywhere. Why not? Because he's drunk. Oh, so, so if I go somewhere, at least he'll stay here and he'll be, well, I think he'll stay here. He's at yeah. times where he's left. But this fucking guy irritating as hell. I'm unbelievable. I'm sorry just, to hear that. He just calls me all the time. And He'll ask who it is, like he doesn't know who answers the phone, and I'll always give a different name, and he won't even know me. <laughs> and he'll talk, talk, he'll just anyway. talk to me, yeah, I'm like... <laughs> uh, he, he told me I maxed out my credit cards at the hotel, and uh, I'm like, okay. <laughs> I told you my name was, um, oh, I told him my name was Nathaniel. Oh, God. Roy drives drunk, and it's destroying his life, and he's an alcoholic, and it's terrible. But the worst part about it, he can't help Lorne. That fucking asshole. And I talked in my Fucking voice. asshole! Like, oh. <laughs> he didn't care. He didn't care because eventually he started calling me Sarah. Oh, uh, yeah. So, oh, yeah. He's so fucked up. And then he, he's called Winnie his daughter before. You're That's young weird. enough to be my daughter. I'm going to call you my daughter. Is that why she says Roy's my dad, not my boyfriend? Yeah. yeah that's why you know, she started calling him daddy. I told her... Stop that fucking shit. That's why she said she that. Lauren Drop that fucking fuck shit. Own dad. That's what she meant. Yeah. <laughs> I, I told her she needs to stop that shit because I can. I said, all right. It's going to be like this. This is what I told her. I said, it's going to be like this. Either you uh -huh. have me for a boyfriend or you have Roy for a dad. I said, it's not going to And then she called you a pedophile? I've heard the calls, Lauren. That's how this shit goes. Gonna be both, uh, both me, yeah, me being your boyfriend, and you calling my brother your dad. Jeez. Yeah. yeah. So what she said she, she wants me as a boyfriend. That's it. That's not what she said. She said, "Fuck you, you fucking pedophile." Eh? You said, "Winnie." Stop calling Roy your fucking dad now. Get no, it straight. I know for a fact I can check on the wall on my computer that Roy calls her oh, like, all the time. Oh, really? Yeah. And oh, she really? lets it go to voicemail a lot, and he doesn't ever leave a message. Well, I'm going to have to get drunk and get Roy drunk until he's passing out, and then I'll yell at him and threaten to beat him up when I know that he can't fight me back. Oh, God, she does. <laughs> I don't know what she is. No. Else me. All right, actually, that's where I'm going to cut that video off. Let's go on to just last May. Not the most recent May, but... Uh, the May before that, the uh, broken generator video. Two generators. Why don't? What if we ask Kyle to ask if they were in working order? Kyle, can you do us a favor? Could you ask Lauren if these generators are in working order? Oh God, he comes up like a horror movie villain. Maybe he could demonstrate. If we can wait for him, he's gonna come out of nowhere. There he is! There he is! If oh my can, god, how terrifying. Watch this, like, between their two bodies, you can see him coming in. Holy shit! Scott Wigan. Snack Shack. Snack Shack? Yeah. I don't know if you guys want to snack. I guess so. I've not been there, but my mom's going there a lot. My aunt's going there. Oh, that's there. great. So they like it there. What is it like? Uh, like bar food, like, like burgers and stuff? Right? I, yeah, I think it's hot dogs and burgers. Hot dogs? Did you guys hear that? It's hot dogs and burgers and stuff like that. Sorry, Scott Wigan. Yeah. Look at this. <laughs> okay, first of all, the indentation of uh, his belly button. But he's still got the pack of smokes in his shirt. After all this time, he's still got the pack of smokes in his shirt. Hasn't changed. My boy don't change. Oh, when you guys are done, come on. I'll, I'll give you are these um, generators working? This one here works. Yeah. But... God, he walks so weird. Watch him walk. Yeah. Bah. He walks like how Donald Trump stands. Like he's leaning forward at an odd angle. Like he's falling downhill. Yeah, yank that like you yank a Lamont trailer. Earlier, they were just pulling all like that. One catch. You had to roll it back a little bit, then it would catch and then it pulled again. You roll it back like that right there. Like, yeah. Well, normally, yeah, there you go. normally it'll catch again. Right, right there. This one here works. That one there yeah. needs to pull for. Those are just so damn expensive new. I, yeah. just, I can't justify the cost. That one's $800 new. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. How much is that? 
give me hundred, you can have. Guys, he's not fat. Don't look at the sweat stain from his belly button that's struggling to hold his shirt in. He's not fat. Okay? I'm i I'm sick of hearing it, Bull Rush. He's not fat. <laughs> if we had a place to lug it, probably would. Just, it'd be cheaper to fix up that than go to Home Depot and get ripped off. Oh, yeah! yeah. I got a place you can lug it, though. What, where? Where'd you be about? <laughs> where, I think, we, we probably walked about a half mile down. Oh, that's perfect. <laughs> oh, another <laughs> Lorne joke. Next time's getting an egg, you, know? you can tell a Lorne joke because uh, no one laughs except for Lorne. <laughs> Trust me, we've been walking a lot today. So yeah, I, we even... I you guys walk up there, why didn't they bring the car? <laughs> oh, we... yeah. We're 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 city people, so we get. I say that every day. I don't do it very well. Yeah, we. Yeah, Yeah, I mean, you know, get your fill of driving that truck. It's going to be repossessed shortly after this video, Lauren. Yeah, when when you guys are ready, let me know and I'll I'll give you directions. Homeless Depot. Oh my God. Oh, that'd be appreciated, man. Thank you. All right, now the trailer tour, the Jamie Amy trailer tour. Ready? Oh no. I honey. Oh no. This uh, I I make it. Oh, oh my god, I love this so much. <laughs> this is maybe my favorite like video of Lauren. I think that this is my number I one. I honey. Look at that. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Staring into the camera, sir. No, no, thank you. This, uh Look at that. Just, you know, preaching the holy gospel. S sermoning to his people. I, I... Oh, man. Look at the hat. Look at... Make it video, sir. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And uh, in the back here, we can see the, du the uh, fan duct taped to the ceiling with the wire. Uh, I, I don't know if the fire marshal has stopped by to inspect this, but I'm sure it'll pass. Well, yeah, but she don't want to be on the video. No, she doesn't want to be around you. Come here. Let's get a side profile. Oh my god. He has to hold her collar so that she doesn't run they off. They hide in the camera. There's Roscoe. You see Roscoe. Say it. We'll say it. Oh man, she she want, she did not want to be touched by Lauren. Look at her. Okay. Stay out of the camera. Oh my, don't manhandle Bye. her, you fucking asshole. Okay. I guess she's done now. <laughs> she looks like she's injured. Um, Roy is filming Serenity. Okay. I guess she's done now. <laughs> Dog is here somewhere. <laughs> Give me a Zeus. Give me a Zeus. Zeus? This is Zeus. Dog. Okay. Yeah, let's get the crotch. Hey, get my head, what the hell are you oh. showing my boots for? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm over here, you. Now you're showing my stomach. Can you see me? God, look at his teeth. I can see fine. Show him where he sleeps. Yeah. Uh, she's seen pictures of that already. Pictures. All right, here's what I wanted. Look at this side. Look at this side view. You can literally see, there's an indentation. There's like a fold in the hat where it stops connecting with the head. You can see, it's like a good three inches above his head. Look at this. Somebody come and look at this. Do you see the fold that I'm talking about where it's connecting to his head? The button on top is like, you know, it's in no man's land. It's nowhere near his head. Mess. All right. Oh, yeah. We'll, we'll show, show the house, Roy. Right. You're in the way. Uh, this way. So, uh, she's already seen the mess. He couldn't be bothered to clean up his kitchen or his bedroom to show his girlfriend. He could have spent 15 minutes doing that. Okay, cool. So, you see the mess. I guess so. All right. Wow. Let's get that calendar yes. again. I guess so. Hey. That's a that's a load bearing calendar right there. You take that calendar down, the whole the whole house crashes down. All right, so this is in 2020. This is one reason I can't get the bed. He's fresh out. Yeah, that's why. Is that a sleeping bag? 
Alright, this is the master bedroom. This is the master bathroom. Wow, it looks like it's done. This already too, so. Yeah. You know, I don't know if it's it's a wise idea. Oh, and here's the trash section of the trailer. Um, I know you thought you were looking at it before, but here's a. This is exclusively trash. You know, no plywood or calendars. All right. Before we get into these uh, blue boy uh, shorts here, that was uh, that was scary. You know, that death trailer. You know, I don't know what to think. Hug her up, baby. Mwah. Don't worry, I'll... Hug her up, baby. Mwah. Oh my god. I know, I know everyone, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. As you, as you type furiously in the comments, I'm doing it. Let me, let me get that to the square here. Hug her up. Baby. He is trying so. Oh my God! He's trying desperately to cover up those teeth. Holy shit! Oh no! I want to get it perfect right when he opens. Okay. Uh oh. I want to say something. I really do. I want to add some commentary here, but I, you know, what's to be said? I think that this picture says it all. He's dating a supermodel, of course. All right. <sighs> Good morning, my loves. Mwah. Hey, Marshall Sanchez and Brandon. Good morning, my beautiful babies. Beautiful, beautiful ladies. Mwah. Don't be mean and give me some love. Mwah. Mm -hmm. Mwah. Mm -hmm. Mwah. Mm -hmm. It's me, so you can relax. Mwah. Mm -hmm. Thanks for the kiss back. <clears throat> All right, those are some smooches. Um, I was eating at the beginning of that, and. Yikes, you know. It's gonna be coming back up here pretty soon. Oh no. You got the right stuff. Oh no. No! Please God. Alright, I gotta I gotta square it up here. Holy shit. Let me center it a little bit. Will you turn me on? You got the right stuff. Yeah. Baby. You're the reason why I sing the song. Oh, great. All that I wanted was you. Man, are you going to tell me the singing isn't going to win over uh, Casey Morrow? Come on, stop it. Oh, girl, you're so right. All that I needed was you. You made me feel. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh. No. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> And he can't. Oh, 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 you oh. got the right stuff, baby. Close it out good. Now you get your dance and I want my picture. Ah, perfect. I love how that rhymed. Okay, right in here, uh, the cat runs through oh, all girl, full screen. You're so right. All <laughs> the cat was so embarrassed. Oh, girl, you're so right. Watch the cat. Watch the cat. <laughs> it sees him and takes the fuck off. Oh, girl. You're so right. It's like, oh shit, there's a pedo there. Right. I love this. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> and he can't do it from side to side because there's no space because he's in a trailer. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. You got the right stuff, baby. Now you get. And uh, in case you didn't notice, um, he got his best shirt, but it does have a couple of holes in it. So just 
just in case you were wondering what he's wearing, you know, trying to trying to catch his fit. That's what's going on. Dirty jeans, a backwards hat on a bald head, and a shirt with some holes in it. I love you, Casey. And I've loved you for a long time. Okay. Oh. Whether you understand it or not, it's relevant. I think I it's kind of relevant. That's what should matter. Well, that, okay. But I want you, and I want Jamie, and I want us. Oh, okay. Tell me more. I'm sorry for being so confused and <clears throat> upset this morning. No, don't worry about it. I can't take back what I did. All I can do is, maybe, is, is fix it and make it better. Oh, okay. How are you going to... What, 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 are, what tangible steps are you going to take to make this better, Lauren? I bet he has this planned out really well. He seems like a kind of forward-thinking sort of guy. In order to do that, you got to give us the chance. Oh, okay. So you have to do things in order for me to make it better. Gotcha. Gotcha. Where's Kim S? Kim, you still here? Did you write that one down? You're getting, you're getting a lot of notes from Lauren here tonight. Oh no, the next video, you guys aren't going to like it. And you know, you can really tell, um, especially in that la in this last one. Let's just get his picture back up on. Yeah, I mean, between um, those, the, like when uh, Dan and Emma came to visit and here, like he has aged a lot. That second stint in prison, uh, you know, really did a number on this guy. And in case you're like, Eel, you know, I don't, I don't see it. Well, let's go to the next video. I'm not on mute. I just, uh, I don't know. Oh, God. Thought I'd send you a nice little video. Well, when are you going to do that? Even with my glass on. Yeah. Mm, take my glasses off. Maybe that'd be better. Mwah. I love you, and I love you, Jamie. Okay. Carnation and my precious tulip. Oh. My precious flowers. Do the tongue thing again. Mwah. No, the tongue oh, thing. You can't see me very well. Mwah. Oh, God. Ladies, he's single. Look at that guy. That is the face of a man who goes down on a woman for two hours. And definitely knows where the clits are. To the left. To the left. Every clit you own in a in a pussy to your left. Mm. Alright. Alright. On to the next. I'm sick of hearing about fucking Raw, Jamie. Okay. I am so fucking sick of that son of a bitch. It's right. unbelievable. So you stay the f I believe it. I don't know. I don't know if it's unbelievable. Fuck away from him from now on. I find it very easy to believe. You've got me to the point where I just want to fucking cry because you won't fucking stop, you stupid... Wow, Lauren crying? Yeah, she must have really pushed him. Fucking bullshit. Right. You think this guy is a fucking great fucking guy? He's a goddamn virgin that's taking advantage of being able to see you fucking naked. Oh. And you fucked him. Ooh. Isn't that clever? I don't think it's clever. Hope you're so fucking proud of yourself. Why would she be <laughs> proud? Alright. I guess she's not proud of herself. I'm going to skip the singing in this video, but, uh, you know. Do you remember what he looked like when Emma and Dan came to visit? Remember all those many hours ago when we watched the sting footage and what he looked like? That young man with so much hope in his eyes to lose his virginity to a child when he was 37. All right. Here's what he looks like now. Most people tell him that he looks like he's still in his 30s. <sighs> Good morning, baby. Good morning. I'm not going to say anything yet. I'm going to wait till after I'm done singing okay. the song. Oh, great. You're going to sing her a song? Is it a song that she likes from like a genre of music that she likes? I bet it is. I mean, that'd be really stupid to apologize using a genre of music that she hates and you like. I mean, that'd be really selfish and probably prove whatever point she was trying to make. Right? It's right, everyone? Country. Oh, like shit. Country. Bah. Bah, please just listen to the words. Does it have meaning behind it or in okay. front of it? Oh. Now I want to 
want to say something to you. Oh, okay, great. Yeah, he looks like the Pepperidge Farm guy. Thank you, Jose Aguerta. Yes. Don't look at the camera. Sorry for screwing up. Make as little eye contact as possible, I'll please. Make my promise to you. Oh. And. <laughs> yeah, born in the thirties. I can promise that it's not gonna happen again. And you can keep an eye on. I love when he puts on the the button up shirts. You know. I love when he's uh you know look at him. It's it's, it's as ill fitting as ill fitting can come. But you know he's putting on the nice shirt. It, it reminds me of that episode of South Park. Where uh, uh, Kyle's like, I don't want to invite you to Casa Bonita, Cartman. You're not nice. And then Cartman comes over and he's wearing a nice sweater. And Kyle's like, that's not what nice is. And Cartman's like, or Kyle says, uh, that's not nice. You're just wearing a nice sweater. And Cartman's like, I don't understand the difference. And Kyle's like, I know you don't. That's Lauren. He's like, see, I'm a nice person. I'm wearing a nice shirt. It's not a nice shirt, number one. It's just a button-down shirt that doesn't fit you. And second of all, it doesn't improve anything about this. You're still a selfish asshole. You were apologizing to her using a song that you wanted to sing, you fucking dick. Give me all you want to. Right. And... And he didn't even think about this. Like, he's giving her uh, a speech here. Like, a please accept me back, please forgive me. And clearly, he's just making this up on the spot. He didn't even put any effort into what he was going to say. It was a song he already knew how to play and sing. And then he's just making it up on the spot like a fucking asshole. There's no effort at all. I was very confused. Confused. But I don't regret last night happening. Oh, well, okay. Because of the fact that it helped me let go of her. Oh. And I don't regret anything about that. Oh, okay. And I really want to fall in love with you. Oh, okay. All right. We'll, we'll schedule again. When are you free? It's you that I want. And I've known what hair, Clementine? That I've wanted you. So, I know you say you don't understand it, but I do. So. Do you? Do you actually understand it? Like, if she asked you why do you love her, you could give, like, some concrete, real answers. Because if not, then you don't understand it either. I'm asking you right now if you will be my girlfriend. I'll pass. And this right here. I'll pass, but if you have a girlfriend ring, I might reconsider. And this right here. All right, you son of a bitch, I'm in. It's a two carat diamond sterling silver ring. Oh, I thought that was a headlight. It's a dinner ring. Oh, okay. But I'm going to consider it. Did you take that off of your track? A girlfriend ring. Oh. So I'm asking you if you will be my girlfriend. Look at that. Look at this. Oh. Let me just let me let me zoom in for you. Give you give you a better picture. Of what we're looking with. Look at this. This is like when you and your friends are out at the bar and he's chatting up some chick, right? He gets your number and he walks back to like the group. He's like, yeah, I'm the fucking man. He, the Lord just sealed the deal. It's over. It's over. Look at his face. It's over. He's, he, he has completed the mission. He's got you. He knows he's got you. You can play hard to get. Casey's going to play hard to get. I don't know if I want to be a girl. He got you. That dinner ring sealed the deal. Game over. Game over. Lauren got gotcha. you. Lauren got gotcha. you. Oh, Kim S., a girlfriend ring? You don't know what a girlfriend ring is? Um, it's basically when you're uh, dating the person who gets you, who uh, plays a decoy in a predator sting where you get caught, and then you give them a headlight from a vehicle and say it's a sterling silver diamond ring or something. That's pretty much what a girlfriend ring is. All right, here we go. The most recent video uh, of Lauren that we have. Lauren, when we agreed to break up, I went out on a date with Rob that night and he told me he wanted to give it another shot. Oh I don't my know god. What to do. I'm in love with two men. <gasps> oh my fucking word. Oh my fucking word. 
He's a virgin. Oh no. Make yourself cry. What did she say? She said the night that she broke up with me, she went on a date with Rod. Is his mouth like not connected to his body? Watch him talk here. She said the night that she broke up with me, she went on a date with Rod. It's like it's like a it's like an anime where his voice isn't saying the same like they 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 animated it in Japanese and then they're translating it to English. It's it doesn't match up. She said the night that she broke up with me, she went on a date with Rod. That's not that's not what your mouth said. He wants to get back together with her. Okay. She doesn't know what to do because she's in love with two men. Or where she told me she's in love with Rod. Oh, thanks for clearing that up. Yeah, right, ADD. Your ex is cheating on you. Jamie, I don't know how you could do this. Yeah, come on, Jamie. What the fuck? Why would you ever bring that piece of shit into our relationship in it to begin with? Yeah, into, into the relationship that you have with the convicted sex offender. Why would you bring that piece of shit into this relationship? It's so confusing. What's so confusing about it? You brought him into our relationship. Abort it. How many times did I beg you to get rid of him? Constantly. Also, every other man in her life. I, I told you he needs to go, Jamie. No. Whether, whether we were together or not, we were together when you brought him in. That was then. Oh. This is now. This is now. He still needs to go. Oh, God. Casey doesn't like him either. I don't know what to say. Jamie, you keep spending time with that guy. All it does is hurt us. He needs to go, Jamie. I, I, I'm, I'm floored that you ever let him that fucking close to you. What are you looking at? Anything. I thought it was just dinner before he said goodnight. He leaned and kissed me and said he loved me. Oh. You, you tell that motherfucker if he ever leans in and touches you again, I'm going to knock his fucking ass out. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to knock it till he's in the ground. What? Okay, how? Are you going to go there? And what does that mean? Knock it into the ground? That's like what Dustin McFetridge said. I'm so guilty, I'm under a rock. What? What are you talking about? Is that a main saying I'm not in familiar with? Yeah. I put his head right in the ground. Right in the ground. Jesus. I don't know how you can do that, Jamie. Yeah, come on, Jamie. I'm in love with two men. This hasn't happened to me before. It's so confusing. And a woman. There's nothing confusing about it, Jamie. You're it number you one, and I, Jamie, I swear. It was you and I long before Rada was ever in the picture. That was then. This is now. Well, that was then. This is now. You brought this on yourself. It is fucking ridiculous. Why would you ever let him get so close to you? I did. I do. You didn't love him before. I mean, just... Three fucking months ago, Jamie, you told me that you loved me. You was going to tell Rod, get the fuck out of here. I can love more than one person. Well, he needs to go. Well, and you're fucking him. 
it's got to be confusing when you're working and you're having sex with the person you love. That's fucked up, Jamie. It's royally fucked up. You need to get rid of him, period. Don't take his contract and stick it up his ass. I can separate work and personal feelings. Well, you didn't. You did it and you do it. Did you tell him that you love him? He told me before, if I don't follow the contract, he will sue me. Gee, he really loves you, doesn't he? Most people wouldn't sue somebody they love. That was before last night. <laughs> Break the fucking contract, Jamie. Get rid yeah. of his dumb ass. You're already in debt. It's a serious issue for you. But yeah, break this contract with this guy who's got a ton of money. Because I, I don't fucking like it. Put all this on yourself. I don't have that kind of money. Come on, think of something, Lauren. You got this. How much money could he possibly sue you for? Eighty billion dollars. Like one hundred K. Don't cry, Lauren. I'm not crying. I'm pissed off. She fucking would never fucking listen to me. Don't understand it. I didn't ask for this. Well, you did ask for it, Jamie, because you kept letting him in. Then you just brought him in closer. It just and closer. Happened. And you brought him in closer and closer and closer. Closer. Say it again. To the point where he was sleeping in your fucking bed, for Christ's sakes. No, no. Wrong, Lorne. He slept in her bed, and she slept in the champagne room. Get it right. You fucking asshole. But I wasn't in the bed. And that double chin is, you know, we saw it in the uh, in the Emma Dan visit video, but look at that motherfucker. Like, as defined as can be is that double chin. Now, uh, you know, the age-old question rages, you know, which chin do you like best, original recipe or extra fatty? Um, I gotta go with the... You know, I'm going to go with the second chin. It's newer, you know. It's probably nicer because it's newer. Um, but I, I understand the original chin uh, argument. But I'm, I'm going to go second chin. I'm going to go second chin. I'm going to take the chin less traveled. Go second chin. He, he never should have been in the goddamn bedroom. That was great. Look at, look at this. He, he never should have been in the goddamn bedroom. Yeah. He never should have been in your house, period. Why? Yeah, why, Jamie? Why, Jamie? You're supposed to do one thing with him. That one thing was killing me. <laughs> then you just kept bringing him in closer. I want to get to the freak out. He's a Jesus Christ, Jamie. Oh, it's around here. Well, uh, Kenneth Brinkman reference. I caught that heel born. Tell him to take his good heart and shove, shove it up his ass. Oh, oh. Wasn't expecting that. Gift from Zoom. Running out of time. We oh, God. Shut up, Lauren. 40 minute time limit on your group meeting. Speed up, few. 
I'm asking you a question right now. Do you I'm asking you a question right now. That was pretty great. Question, what was it? I'm asking you a question right now. Do you question. want to get back together well, before with me? That. I don't remember now. You know, the part I like about the videos is, like, you can see in his eyes how difficult it is for him to think. Like, he's really got to, like, consider a question. I think what he does is when someone says something, he repeats the whole thing in his mind until he gets to a point um, where he's going to respond, and then he responds. I think that that's what he's doing. Because oftentimes when he responds to something, he'll say, she'll be like, you're being an asshole alone. And he'll be like, I'm being an asshole? Jamie! Like, he'll repeat exactly what they said. I think he has a very difficult time processing information. Oh, I have to do with Rob. I have to I, huh? Huh? Have to do with Rob. Why would you have let him in that close to you? That cl that question? No. Why would you have I let him in your house? So. Huh? I heard did you tell. Oh, did you, yeah, did you tell Rod that you love him? I did. In the moment, it was hard not to. This is unbelievable, Jamie. This is fucking nuts. This is just fucking nuts. Jamie, do you want to get back together with me? I'm asking you right now. I don't know now. I'm confused. Uh, I'm fucking believable. Just fucking unbelievable. This is stressful. Stressful, Jamie. You brought it on yourself. Just get rid of the son of a bitch. You know, you brought him into our relationship, and now you let him stay down there. You get it all fucked up now. Now but you're in love with this fucking him. clown. You're in love with this fucking clown that you wouldn't stay away from. After how many times I asked you to stay away from him? Didn't you tell him that, you're, uh, that you love him too? This clown that's successful and kind and respectful Right. Look at the screen here. This isn't a clown. This is the real man. I mean, look at the, the jolly, jolly red cheeks right here, you know? This is a good man with a good heart. How many fucking times have you told me that you love me since we've been back together, Jamie? He's trying so hard to, like, muster up something to say. <laughs> He's got fucking nothing. Wow. Jamie! I don't remember. Casey, do you remember her telling me that she loves me? Um, I, I wasn't paying attention if she did or didn't. I don't really know. I, I don't remember her saying it at all. Okay. Then what's your fucking point? I've said it like once. Yeah, I remember you saying it once when you when you won, didn't want me to choose Casey over you. That's the once that I remember you, you saying. Know. Other than a long time ago. There's something on the wall over there. Do we know how this saga ends? I'll... I'll set that up again sorry to interrupt do we know how this saga ends how the jamie saga ends because i would love it i guess the thruple thing and then casey <sighs> oh yeah and then he finds out it's will man i i wish it would have turned out to be winnie 
you saying text to speech. I wish it wasn't Will. I wish it turned out to be Winnie. Um, that was <laughs> that was using a robot voice to pretend to be Jamie. That would have been so great. There's something on the wall over there. Yeah, my thoughts. Ah, uh, Lauren. Like he was trying to sound dramatic, you know, like a movie. Oh, yeah, my thoughts. Yeah, my thoughts. She asked me if something was on the wall, and I said, "Yeah, my thoughts." Yeah, my thoughts. Jamie, he's got quite a leg up on me. He's got a leg up on me, too. He's seeing you, he's taking you out on dates. He's had sex with you countless times now. Well, I don't think it's countless. That you're a virgin. Listen. Well, he's had sex with her countless times, apparently. He's not a virgin anymore. I have to be honest. Speak your truth, Jamie. We had sex. Please. <gasps> when? When? After the date. Jesus fucking Christ, Jamie. <laughs> oh, that's one of the best, you know. <laughs> After the date. Jesus fucking, fucking Christ, Christ Jamie. Jamie. What the fuck? You have got to be fucking joking me. Oh my god, so ugly. What the fuck? Oh. Oh. I can't get any closer than that. I just, oh, oh. You have got to be fucking joking me. I don't think she is, Lauren. Oh my god. I thought it was love. Thanks a lot, Jamie. I think I'll have a cigarette. Congratulations. You would have anyway. Well, you would have had sex with him anyway. Great fucking job, Jamie. What a fucking we joke. Together. What a fucking joke, Jamie. We weren't together. It, uh, it's not a goddamn excuse, Jamie. That is not a fucking excuse. You dumb, just because we're not together, you don't go out on a fucking date with this fucking guy. Tell him that you love him and have sex with him right after you break up with me. Is that the reason that you broke up with me? So that you could go out with him and fuck him again? Um, that's a pretty good excuse. In fact, it's not even an excuse. It's just what happens. Right? It's like, uh, you know... Uh, why didn't you go into work today, Lauren? Well, I'm not employed. Oh, that makes sense. That's a that's a piss poor excuse. No, that just makes sense. This is not an excuse. She can fuck whoever she wants. That's uh, I don't I don't his his like possession, his eternal possession. Your pushy will always be mine. Fucking, obviously it's creepy, but like fucking hell. All right, let's watch this one more time. Oh my god. Look at that picture. It's like a demon. I think that this picture right here sums up Lauren the best. You know, it's not as like dramatic as the other ones. But, uh, you know, that just that thinking. He can't quite put the pieces together, but he's really trying. Like, look at that. He's like, oh, God, I just can't quite figure it out. That, that really defines him. And this one's just funny. You know. All right, let's watch that whole freak out one more time and uh oh my god <laughs> and then i think i'm gonna call it a stream so let's let's get it one more time and then we'll say our goodbyes when when after the date jesus fucking christ jamie what the fuck you have got to be fucking joking me Oh my god. 
I thought it was love. Thanks a lot, Jamie. I think I'll have a cigarette. Congratulations. You would have anyway. Well, you would have had sex with him anyway. Great fucking job, Jamie. What a fucking we joke. Together. What a fucking joke, Jamie. We weren't together. It, uh, it's not a goddamn excuse, Jamie. That is not a fucking excuse. You dumb, just because we're not together, you don't go out on a fucking date with this fucking guy. Tell him that you love him and have sex with him right after you break up with me. Is that the reason that you broke up with me? So that you could go out with him and fuck him again? I don't know, I'm confused. Well, uh, your confusion is going to be the, the death of us. You better tell this motherfucker to get the fuck out of your life. It could have been part of it. I'll be honest. Fuck it. Well, it's obvious it was part of it. The fucked up attitude that you were giving me. The fucked up attitude. I didn't realize it was because of that fucking virgin piece of shit. That's why you've been acting different, Jamie. Well, he. All right, that picture that picture of him blowing smoke out of his nose while he's pissed off about another one of his girlfriends fucking another guy. Oh, God. When will it end? I think right there is where it'll end. All right. That was a lot of fun. <laughs> Lauren very clearly is aging poorly. Uh, man. You know, he didn't look good at any point during this stream, I won't lie, but... Uh, he looks the worst here at the end. He's not uh, aging gracefully. All right, thank you all for joining me. I should be back on Saturday for another um, afternoon stream. I plan on doing that. Um, and until then, let's uh, let's find a weird version song to lead us out here. Oh, the weak coffee song. I think we got to go with the weak coffee song. All right, I will see you guys on Saturday. Bye. Hello, everyone. For some reason, people have been wanting. Um, people have been wanting, what have been wanting, um, no recipe for my weak coffee. Well, I'm going to give it to you right now. Hello, everyone. For some reason, people have been wanting, no recipe for my weak coffee. I'm going to give it to you right now. Well, to you right now. That's what I do. I'll take some Folgers, put it in there, a little bit of sugar, put it in there, a little bit of creamer, put it in there. And boy, doesn't that taste good. I'll take some Folgers, that much, a little bit of sugar, about that much, a little bit of creamer, turn it on and make it. Boy, doesn't that taste good. Shit! It's up to four cups. Two, three and a half uh, scoops. It tastes like shit. Right there's the amount that I put it in. Or for one, yeah, for four cups of coffee. Go ahead, stir it and drink. Go ahead, stir it and drink. What you turn on with is my coffee. Boy, doesn't that taste good? No! I can drink it all night long. It does not keep me awake. What you turn on with is my coffee. Boy, doesn't that taste good? No! And I will show you the places that I said no in that chat room. What? Hello, everyone. For some reason, people have been wanting to know the places that I said no in that chat room. I'm going to give it to you right now. Well, I'm gonna give it to you right now. So, let's concentrate on the coffee. Take some Folgers, put it in there. A little bit of sugar, put it in there. A little bit of creamer, put it in there. Boy, doesn't that taste good? Take some Folgers, that much. A little bit of sugar, about that much. A little bit of creamer, turn it on and make it. Boy, doesn't that taste good? Shit! It's up to four cups. Two, three and a half. Uh, scoops. It tastes like shit. Right there's the amount that I put it in. Or for one, yeah, for four cups of coffee. Go ahead, stir it and drink. Go ahead, stir it and drink. What you turn on with is my coffee. Boy, doesn't that taste good? No! I can drink it all night long. It does not keep me awake. What you turn on with is my coffee. Boy, doesn't that taste good? No! For all of you that want to criticize my coffee, go ahead. The 
this coffee smells like shit. If you don't like my coffee, don't drink it. It's that simple. Okay. Some of you do really think of some really dumb things to say about some really, really dumb things to say about some dumb things. You have 357 voicemails that sound exactly like the Beatles used to sound. I want you to show me. I want to feel what love is. I know you. Listen. I can't throw the back.